Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very tired, but now with audio, Iron Sheik 84. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, it is 5.41 in the morning right now in Dallas. Uh, I actually should have started like 20 minutes ago, but just running here, running there, doing this, doing that. Um, so uh, we have uh, we have a plan, like a guy's day out plan with my brother. So uh, if I want to grind out those victories, I gotta get started early. So yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get going. But uh, IRL Gear Oid, uh, Housekeeper, Fish Camp, Danger Team Two. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, here we go. So to give you all a starting point of where I am, uh, I am at 46 matches for Sasha, 46 for Asuka, and 0 for Becky. So I definitely have a, uh, a hill to climb this morning. How did y'all do in yesterday's showdown? Were y'all able to max and keep it above a thousand last night without any issue? See, Oscar 101 of 50, Sasha 50 of 100. Yeah, well, here's the thing. Uh, a couple of my teammates and people on stream said that they were that they made it to a thousand without hitting the 5SS wall. Uh, I wasn't that e I wasn't that fortunate, but uh, you know when you have the icons of WrestleMania, Charlotte, it's pretty much a cheat code <laughs> to to win every single victory. And outside of um, outside of two or three matches where I just got unlucky with uh, with you know grinding out the Sasha victories, I, I didn't lose a single match last night, um, except. Uh, there, I did have one match with Charlotte where I just got an extremely, and I mean extremely bad board, and I just got screwed left and right, and you know what I mean, what are you going to do? Alright, so I'm just going for the easy victories right now, because... Like I said, time is of the essence. I'm guessing most of these people are probably still asleep right now, so they haven't lowered any defenses. But if they haven't, it's okay. I can just switch to Charlotte until more people wake up. Yeah, I gotta tell you, um, one of the best decisions I made was to spend a month focusing on just women. Because I gotta tell you, if uh, if it wasn't for the fact that I, if it wasn't for the fact that I did that, I think this would have made things so much harder. Didn't get attacked at all. Thirteen hundred variety. Yeah, housekeeper. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like that. I, I thought about doing the, you know, like the taking my notoriety down to zero and building my way up, but like that, that you know, I mean, especially on stream, that adds another like hour or two minimum to streaming, and I just don't think it's entertaining seeing me, you know, lose over and over and over. I mean, I gotta tell you, the the one time that I did it, I like I regretted it. I mean, I'm just being upfront. Like, I regretted it big time. I wish I hadn't done that. Go. 
Yeah, and I also thought about leaving like a fodder defense or something and working my way up, but again, like I said, it was just it just it was to me it was just too much work for too little reward at this point. If I get if I if I'm able to to grind out those victories, awesome, fantastic. If I don't, whatever. I'm gonna still sleep tomorrow. I'm still gonna sleep tonight just as well as I would had I had I, you know had I grinded them all out yesterday. Yeah, here's the thing. You can make a. I mean, like you could, I guess, technically make an argument for another character. Um, you know, maybe DX China, or maybe. <laughs> Roman, good morning. Like I said, you can make a you can make an argument for maybe Naomi or DX China, but it, it's hard to it's hard to argue that uh, Charlotte isn't like you know top two, top three at least. If 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 absolutely nothing else. Oh yeah, Roman. Yeah, I figured as much. It's. Uh, it's uh, it's probably really late in the evening in India, isn't it? Hey, I like. Her. Here's the thing. I'm not knocking DX China by any means. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm not. I'm not saying she's not a good character at all. But yeah, Charlotte is. Charlotte's way better, in my opinion. Nearly done with the game. No fun now to play. Roman, I, you know, like, I, I know I've said this. I, I, I've said this a lot. So, and by no means am I saying this in a mean way or a rude way or snarky or sarcastic or anything like that. But, yeah, if you're, if you're finding yourself not enjoying the game, then, you know, I mean, like, seriously, it's better to take a step back, not play for a bit. Because here's the thing, like I said, life's short. If you're if you're not enjoying if you're not having fun then then there's no point in playing this. And trust me, I get it. There are times where I you know I mean look I'm human. I get tired of playing this game too. Yeah, but if you're really at the point where. It's just, it's getting miserable playing the game. Try taking, just like, you know, take a week off. Especially if you're not doing the, if you're not chasing Johnny Drip Drip. Just take a week off, don't log in, don't do anything. And if your batteries are recharged, great. And if for whatever reason you don't want to play anymore, then, you know, hey, you took the step to do it. Because there's no point, in, like I said, there's no point in continuing to play if you're going to be miserable the entire time playing. Oh yeah, and I'm not sure if it's the same for y'all right now, but yeah, my uh, the the alt Oscar gear is like is glitching out the game. Uh, kind of lost interest too. It's hard. Yeah, I uh, I'm not gonna disagree with you on that danger team. Yeah. 
Yeah. Ariel, I look I uh here's the thing, I'm not at any I'm not in any way, shape, or form uh saying that you know, obviously spending money won't fast track you in this game. But for those of us who've been playing for a really long time, like me, for, for four years now, I gotta tell you, the the amount of resources and things that the game gives out now compared to four years ago is night and day. Um, you know... I, like you know, it's like they gave out diamond tokens and stuff. Like it's no, like you know, like it's nothing. When you know, it's like when I originally started playing, getting a character from three SS to three SG was like literal. Uh, I, well, I don't want to say literally impossible, but it was damn near impossible. Getting, uh, you know, getting the tokens that you needed. I mean, in all honesty. Outside of, like, uh, the times that I fought, you know, WWE execution with my shitty teams or Grim Creepers was the only time that I ever, ever, like, saw somebody with the 3SG character. And now I see free-to-pay people with, you know, uh, I see free-to-play people all the time with uh, five-star characters and five-star silver characters. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I've had the same, I've had the same account this entire time. Yeah, I, I wasn't a day one OG, but I've been playing this game pretty, I mean, pretty much since the beginning. Uh, of course, I got a blue match right at the end of this thing. Sensei Crease, good morning. Yeah, well, like I said, if, if I, if I, since we have that guy's day out thing that I told you about yesterday... Uh, if it wasn't for that, I would, uh, you know, I would have slept another couple of hours, but it's, uh, I just, I, I, I need, I, look, I want to grind out and get as far as I can on the, on the bonus matches, so I figured, I was like, well, shit, the only way I'm going to do that is by waking up early, so here I am, up bright and early for everybody. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go. I'm probably gonna go to bed early today. Hopefully, the little one's not too fussy and lets dear old dad <laughs> sleep for a bit. Yeah, I got about. Well, after this, I'm probably gonna have about 50 matches. Uh, I got I about I have 50 more matches for Sasha. I'll have the 100 more matches for Oscar, and then I haven't even started on Becky at all. Yeah, I mean, one of the things I will tell you that I'm that I'm, that I am looking forward to is they said that at some point in uh, this quarter, which I'm hoping, I mean, like, that they have till the end of September if they keep that time scale, they're going to have, they said they're going to have basically, like, a one-click button to uh, do the dailies for you, and I'm really looking forward to that, because that's going to that's gonna cut a lot of time out of my day. Gonna get you 22.5 coins for today and evaluate how many bonus matches, if any, I wanted to do after the fact. Yeah, you know you can double dip. You have two Oscar or Becky. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know that. I 
so here's the thing like my my beckys aren't fully built up um oscar i could double up no problem but becky is the one that i can't so um actually you know what i might i might do that now that i think about it Yeah, if I were to do double Becky or something, I just, ugh, I, <sighs> that would not be a fun day for me. You're tired. Yeah, I... Yeah, Roman, I, I probably, what is it, I went to bed, well, the kid was being fussy, so I went to bed around midnight-ish, so, yeah, I got about five hours of sleep, and then the night before, I didn't get very much sleep either. Uh, let's see, if I put zombie Oscar here. Okay, zombie Oscar here, and then... Other Oscar here. No, no, wrong button. Okay, yeah, I, I get, I get what you're saying. I dig what you're shoveling. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Go, uh, you know, grind out the Becky ones and then double dip with Asuka and uh, Sasha. Honestly, if they were to let you use props and showdown, I would just, I would just get a bunch of those, like destroy the board, you know, like the the mega smashes, and just click, 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 click with the double Becky. just make life that much easier on me. <laughs> Day two max. Ooh, yay. That took me what all of fifteen minutes. 
And now for the ceremonial lowering of the defense. Have at it, have at it, guys and ladies. Live it up. Let's double check my one thing. Yeah, especially with like how little points that uh, they're giving out for uh, showdown coins. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to. Yeah. Yeah, Housekeeper, you know what's surprising? I haven't seen you this. I, you know, like, I always run into you. I haven't seen you this time. Alright, there we go. Collect my coins from last night. Alright, 10, 30, 15, 35. Got those points. Yada, alrighty. Oh, by the way, housekeeper, I know that you know you guys are uh, on the spending, but uh, how far are you in the solo contest? Have you already like maxed it out and everything? So I'm about uh, what is it? I was 1600 something on Johnny Drip Drip, and then I'm 43 of 51 here. Check what belt I got real quick. Oh, two new belts. All right, I haven't seen it. No, I haven't seen it today. So, all right. So Beth has a belt in case I ever decide to work her up. That is a waste. Did you get Johnny already? Oh, uh, was it through the shards or through a milestone or, uh, I, I didn't know that. I didn't know you'd gotten it already. Shards. Okay, cool. Yeah, one of my one of my teammates. Uh, uh, I don't know if you if you've seen the leaderboard. He think he I think he's in the teens or the twenties. Uh, Lurchy, uh, he's a he's a buddy and a teammate. He already he already maxed the event, so he's got he's got Johnny Drip Drip. I don't know if he's gotten the two thousand shards yet, but I think he has. Yeah, Lurchy's a beast when it comes to when it comes to feuding, when it comes to grinding, and uh, when it comes to, to you know uh, paying for pulls. He definitely he uh, he's funded a vacation or two for Scopely. Let's just say that. <laughs> Do you ever play real cricket twenty? Um, no, I, I I mean I've played cricket before, but I don't uh, I don't follow the sport, nor have I touched a, a cricket bat in. Damn. The last time I was in India was when I was in first grade, so probably around twenty five years, give or take. Oh, the game? Oh, yeah. No, no, I never played it.
Yeah, the last time, yeah, the last time I was in New Delhi was uh, about, like I said, about 20, 25, I want to say about 25 years ago. I probably, I'd have to, I'd have to go and get a, uh, I'd have to go and get a calendar and figure out, and ask my parents and figure out exactly when it was, but yeah, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a while. Forty-six, then solo MLC four eighty-eight. Nice. Yeah, what's really held me back? I thought that um, it's. I mean, I don't know if uh, housekeeper. I don't know if you like if you went just full tilt and went ahead and maxed out like NXT Roman and. Um... Oh, hey, Godfather. <laughs> yeah, go right ahead. Like I said, I, I lowered my defense. I want y'all to have at it. Go go nuts. Um, did you like uh, you know? Did you go like full tilt and go ahead and uh, get the Miz and all those other side characters like built up like crazy? Because uh, you know, with my strat of making everybody minimum three SG and one hundred, you know, in uh, level one hundred. I was able to do hard mode pretty much with everyone on the bonus characters. It was it's hell mode that I can't really do anything with. Nope. So it's mostly just like the the Haven uh, team MLC stuff that's that's pushed you up. He did hell mode. Damn. So it's basically a bunch of cash refreshes and getting lucky with with uh, like flat metal gems and whatnot. And I mean, I know like that. I know just the Miz, like the like the one mode. Yeah, swap the full open belt and ninety percent armor. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, that'll that'll do it. Down props move metal that usually does it. Yeah, that definitely does. Oh yeah, they 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 very much are. The only problem is, is uh, the the Mania belts. Like I like literally every belt that I got was WrestleMania 36, which is great. But at the same time, like that limits me. And one of the things I'm kind of kind of sad about is I'm 40 shards away from Batista, and I don't know if I have a belt for him or not. I'm gonna have to go through. I'm gonna have to go through and see if I have an open if I have an open showboat belt to do. But, uh, yeah, I'm, my, I, I wish I'd gotten some variety. I didn't sell a single one of them, but yeah, every single belt I got was, was all WrestleMania 36 and nothing else. Yeah, like I said, you know, like, you got 7, 22, 35, 36, yeah, like I said, me, you know, I, again, don't want to be a, don't, I'm not going to beat a dead horse, you heard me, I, every, every belt I have is, uh, is the same, unfortunately, so, one of them went on Charlotte, uh, one legendary belt went on Charlotte, and then I have all the other ones. Nearly halfway to recruiting IOW Batista, unable to play slow down because of slow mode, so. Yeah. Jabele, good morning. Yeah, it's going good. Just, uh... I have... Uh, I'm going to be leaving for my guy's day out in roughly five... No, actually, four and a half hours, give or take. Four hours and like 20 minutes, actually, but... Uh... Yeah, I... Just grinding out whatever victories I can get right now. So I got seven... 
seven with Becky. That's going to be the tough part here. So I'm just trying to see what I can do in, uh, like I said, uh, about four hours. I'm trying to see where I can get, because that's probably going to be my cutoff. Um, we're going to, yeah, we're going to an arcade in um, in the morning, uh, or a barcade. I don't, like I said, I don't drink, so uh, I'm not looking, uh, I'm not that excited for it. Uh, I mean, in the in the in the drinking sense of it, uh, but it's a uh, it's a place called It's a little bit loud for me right now. Okay, we'll take we'll just take a very short break to take a look at this. There you go. So Mr. Sheik's gonna stay at home with the kid, but yeah, it's uh, Bishop Cider K Dallas. Games plus adult beverages, good things still happen. So you pay 10 bucks to get in, all the arcade games are on free play. Uh, and then, um, like, their, their thing is they have, they, they have, like, a bunch of house-made ciders and stuff. Uh, so, like I said, I don't drink, so that, I, I'm, I don't care uh, about it, you know, about them having, um... Yeah, see, we only sell what we make, so hard ciders, hard kombuchas, hard si seltzers, and wines. I, um, yeah, I, again, like I said, I, I'm not going to be drinking, so I'm fine, but, uh, yeah, so they don't sell, like I said, so they don't, they don't sell food, you can bring your own stuff in. I think they have a food truck or something outside of that, and then, uh, so they have 140 different games. So here's the. So here's some of the list. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, oh yeah. So here you go. So they have like pinball machines. They have uh, fighting games, and you know, so sort of more like Mortal Kombat, Revolution X, Street Fighter Two, everything. They have some driving games. They got games like, you know, NBA Jam and Blitz. And then... There you go. But yeah, I mean, like, it, it's gonna... It, it you know, uh, it's gonna be a lot... It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, so, as an FYI, I will be... Uh, I will be wearing a mask the entire time. Uh, I'm probably, I might, I might go ahead and bring some gloves with me too, just to be on the safe side. But yeah, this is, uh, this, it was, this is what it looks like. Now, as a side note, I've actually been to, I've actually been here one time, but they wouldn't let me in because, uh, I went for, I went for my brother's birthday and baby, sh you know, Toddler Sheik was baby Sheik at the time, and he was a, a year and a half old. And uh, you know, after nine o'clock or eight o'clock or whatever it is, you know, it's it's twenty one and up. And uh, they yeah, twenty one and up starting at eight o'clock. They said my kid couldn't be in there, so of course I you know couldn't leave my kid in the car or anything like that because I'm a responsible adult. So uh, I had to uh, get in my car and go home. But yeah, that's uh, like I said, that's where we're planning on going. And then after that, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have uh, a late brunch. And then um, there's some place uh, that uh, have, hey, okay. Look, I, I know that y'all over in Europe might not know this term. Have you ever heard the term? restaurant I know since Crease probably knows what it, it, what it, it probably knows that term 
Okay, so, uh, Jabali, uh, yeah, okay. So, just ask, do, okay, for, for, for my Euro and Indian, uh, viewers right now, um, do you know, uh, you know what Hooters is, right? Oh, Sensei, yeah, okay. So, what the term breast, breastaurant, you know, as in breastaurant is, uh, you know, uh, any, any restaurant where, you know, it's got, you know, women who are scantily clad, you know, uh, and it's some place called, actually, let me look up the name of it. I, cause I don't even know. I don't like, yeah, um, uh, Wild pitch. Uh, again, I here we'll take another short break to show this off. Yeah, so you know, sports, food, beer, all star service with a smile. Uh, so we're going to this one right here. Um, so yeah, so basically, as you can see, they got, you know, it, it's, you know, it's like, oh, look, they're wearing short shorts and halter tops and shit. I mean, I don't, I don't fucking care. They want to go for some reason. I'm just along for the ride. Yeah, so housekeeper, so this, the, it, okay, so here's what it is, okay, uh, and I mean, like, I'm not, I, it's basically, it's, it, like I said, it's just, they, they serve, they serve stuff like, uh, it serve, they serve stuff like, you know, like burgers and, you know, sandwiches and, uh, you know, it, you know, like bar, uh, I guess like, well, I mean, I know bar food over there is probably going to be different from here, but basically they have that, the women, uh, the women that are uh, the women that are there are you know like I said they're dressed up you know they're, they're dressed up in short shorts and whatnot and basically uh, you know dudes go there and you know it's like they drink it up and everything and then of course the the women act like they're interested in you uh, <laughs> you know or you know it's like they you know like the I, look I don't want to sound like I'm being a of spoil sport or anything, but basically they act like, you know, they, you know, they act like they like you, uh, you know, in order to get better tips and stuff. I don't give a shit. I, look, I'm already married, you know, uh, you, you know, obviously. And then on top of that, um, I am not, like, I, I don't need some random lady acting like she likes me for me to tip, you know, $10 instead of 5 bucks or whatever. I don't give a shit. I, I don't... I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Like I said, if you if you've ever been to if you've ever been to if you've ever been to or seen Hooters in a movie or whatever, it's exactly what it is. There's a there's actually a couple different ones in the U.S. Housekeeper and I guess Jabali. So there's um. There's there's Hooters of course. And then, um, since you're going to have to help me with this one, there's, uh, hey, Godfather, here, I'll give you another, another revenge that you can do against me easily. Um, there's Twin Peaks, uh, you know, get it, Twin Peaks, ha ha ha. Uh, there's that one. There's, uh, one called the Tilted Kilt or something like that, so that one's, more of a, you know, like a pub theme, you know, and the, there's that, um, uh, Bombshells, I think, is one, and then, uh, there's this one, apparently. Um, if there are any others, I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, and Sensei, I mean, like, I know we're, I, here's the thing, I know we're joking around and whatnot. Look, I, you know, I, 
look, I'm a red-blooded dude, okay? I find, you know I mean? I'm not going to sit here and be like, I'm married and I love my wife and I don't look at any other women, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to say that. Look, I, you know, like... I'm not gonna sit here and tell you like you know like there you know there are other women I find attractive of course you know I mean like uh, I'm not gonna do anything about it but you know uh, yeah but you know like I said it's just you know like the fake like you know like you know here's the, you want when I talk here's the thing when I talk about them uh, you know playing it up for free tips so like uh, like you know when you go to a regular restaurant for example right. Like, you know, like, if a waitress comes over, it's like, hey, how's it going, you know, like, I'm, you know, Stacy over here, like, Stacy Keebler. Like, hi, I'm Stacy, you know, it's like, what, what can I get for you today, right? So, like, at these kind of restaurants, like, what they do is, like, they'll come over and, like, they'll, like, they'll put their hand on your shoulder and be like, hi, I'm Stacy, you know, if there's anything that you need, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, like, look, I don't, like, again, uh... I, I don't need uh, I don't need somebody to uh, you know to like place their hand on my shoulder to make me feel like I'm wanted and that they like me and that somebody loves me out there and that there's a chance that oh if I'm nice enough to her then she's gonna sleep with me. So in Amsterdam we got banana bar. I ain't gonna explain everything else about it, but I guess we'll figure out what the ladies do there. Oh uh, yeah, I'm pretty... I, I can put two and two together. So, housekeeper. I'm gonna take a guess and say they were gonna make, uh... They use those bananas to make sundaes, and they serve ice cream to everybody, right? Great 1982, good morning. Cereal bar, yeah. I, you know, I've never been to a cereal bar before, but uh, I, I've, I mean, I've heard about, I've heard about them. I don't know, there's a bunch of stuff that, like, I don't, it's one of those things, like, I, there, there's several things, it's, look, as I've always said to Sensei Kreese, I swear to God, it's an actual thing, so, you go to, so, the cereal bars, uh, you go to, like, it's literally, like, you go to the cereal bar, and I think they're all you can eat, don't, don't hold me to that, but basically, they, uh, you go there and they have, you know, eight or nine different cereals and you can go there. It's kind of like a buffet of sorts, I guess. And then they have a uh, different, uh, a bunch of different types of milk. So, you know, like if you, uh, you know, if you're lactose intolerant, they'll have like soy milk and uh, almond milk and stuff like that. And then, yeah, you just go up there and it's, uh, yeah, it is a thing. care of that. I can tell you the banana doesn't taste any different for it. Well, come on, like, how, how, how could it not? You know, it's like with delicious ice cream and hot fudge, whipped cream, a cherry, some little crushed up crumbly cookie bits. Y'all not have uh, banana sundaes over there? Oh, since increase, oh, sorry, but yeah, I was, I was I made the banana joke. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, like, I, I mean, as y'all like to tell, like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sport about stuff like this. The only thing that there's, there's like, there's certain things that I like, I just don't get and like don't sound like fun to me. 
um, like axe throwing. I don't know why. I, I don't know why that's a thing. I don't. I don't think it's fun. Uh, oh well. I was about to say I was like, dang, that sucks. But hey, I'm happy that <laughs> that that happened after reset. But yeah, uh, if you yeah if you yeah a housekeeper and the other the others if you don't know what I'm talking about so yeah so it's a thing where uh, people go and there's a giant bullseye and just they throw axes at it kind of like like you would like at a dartboard but it's axes yeah. Yeah, I, again, like I said, I just, I don't, I don't see the appeal of it. I don't know. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, I mean, here's the thing. I haven't seen any videos of, like, the axes coming back and hitting other people, but it's just, I don't know. I, again, I just, eh. Randy, thank you very much for the host. Yeah, the only, uh, what is it? No, I have seen, no, I have seen, uh, not not in person but i i have seen uh i have seen videos of people who uh have thrown a dart and it ended up in somebody's hand or something fish can yeah axes do bounce back i like i said yeah that's not the that's not the fear for me i you know i just i don't know i i actually i have an axe and i use it i use it occasionally so I see it as more of a, you know, like I see it as a tool and not a, uh, <laughs> and not a means of entertainment. Yeah, if I really wanted to be a Twitch partner and they'd let me get away with it, yeah, seeing Iron Sheik eighty four shirtless chopping wood, that that'll get the viewers. Yeah, we have uh, we we have a couple tree. Uh, I mean, like you know, y'all have seen my backyard from the from the video from my uh, <laughs> from uh, from my uh, what is it bushwhackers intro. Uh, so I mean, there are times where you know just doing maintenance and cutting off limbs and stuff like that. But my lopper is not big enough to, to to cut through some of the some of the branches that we cut off, and uh, my chainsaw the chainsaw that I had just. It like no matter how much I adjusted the chain, the stupid fucking thing would fall off. So I just like I just uh, rather than risk getting injured, I just took it off. Uh, I just threw it away, and I haven't gotten another one. Yeah, the only thing that I need to secretly train for, uh, I don't know, like I said, I'm looking forward to, to, to riding my bicycle again in the evenings, but that's gonna, uh, I'm, not, I'm not doing a, I'm not gonna put, turn my phone on and do live streams of me biking around the neighborhood. <laughs> You know, uh, I was going to figure out 
how I was going to do it. Um, but when I got... Uh, oh, actually... Uh, oh, yeah, as a bit of a side note. So, uh, y'all remember me saying that I was going to be potentially going to, to Japan in September and that I was worried about not getting my... my uh, not uh, worried about not getting my passport in time. Well, I actually got it uh, a couple days ago. So, I'm 100% good. But being realistic, I don't think Japan's going to happen with the state of emergencies that have been declared. Now, I was debating what I was going to do. So, I thought about... A, I mean, I wasn't going to go all out with it, and I wasn't going to be, you know, I wasn't going to, like, live stream myself for seven hours walking around the city and whatnot, but I was, I, I, I did debate, uh, you know, getting one of those, getting one of those rigs to where I could, you know, do some streaming, you know, uh, you know, around Japan and maybe, um, you know, like if you know, like like going to the arcade or Akihabara or something like that. You know, just just showing off like what the Japanese arcades and whatnot look like. But that doesn't look like that's going to be a reality right now. Which is fine. I mean, it's you know, look. Here's the thing. I, I would much rather be safe than sorry. And uh, there's, I don't see the point of flying over there if they, you know. If I had an unlimited amount of time and they made me quarantine for two weeks or something, I'd be fine with that, but I don't have that luxury, so. We're probably gonna have to figure out either something to do domestically or, you know, switch our plans to something that's gonna be feasible. Damn, only 18. Ugh. <laughs> also, I'm going to have to figure out how to, uh, when and where I can get my... Yeah. Got your 90 SD coins, 90 shy of milestone 11. This is a decent milestone. Yeah, the so part of the reason why uh, so part of the reason why I'm going for the the bonus matches is uh, I'm not I'm not going crazy with using my resources and stuff. I have a couple of fuses and you know shards that I can use, uh, but. It's basically, I, I took a look at the milestones and the amount of coins and stuff that they're giving out for some of the later milestones to me makes it worth trying to grind this out. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't do it. And I mean, I haven't had much luck with the bags as far as pulling people. So, I mean, I'm not, uh, I'm not going to do another, you know, like I, I did, <clears throat> I did my 17 pull last night. That's, that's it. I'm not, I'm not doing any more. And then the uh, what is it? Here, let's take a look. we'll take a look real quick. Striker Hall, hey. Yeah, I, I yeah I haven't done I haven't done any of the tours yet. I'm I was planning on uh, I'm either gonna record them offline or or something. I I haven't decided yet. Actually, damn ten. Yeah. So here's two million coins right here. This is, you know, another thousand solo points, which helps out. I already got APA JBL, but I mean, any shard, you know, shards help there. Um, here we go, like, you know, another three million coins here. Did I already click on that one? Yeah. Three million coins here, five million coins there. I mean, like, hell, I'm going to go as far as, I'm going to go as far as I can. And just to, just to show this off right here. Yeah, and you know, just like you said, Sensei, uh, it's 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 about using your resources in an efficient and smart manner. So here's all my attitude, people. So like Big Kev right here, 
level one, haven't done a single move to him. I got 263 shards worth of stuff that I could do for free. Here's Macho, 106 shards, level one. I have, I did, I did do a couple of his moves. Good morning, Zandal. So there we go, there's that. I mean, I'm not going to go through each individual character, but I mean, like, hell here. Scott Hall, 31. You know, if I want to, if I don't care about this, I got 800 shards to work with. So, I mean, like I said, I got, I got plenty of characters here. And plus, I was going to, I was going to be working on, I was going to be working, uh, he's, he's, uh, without getting too much into it, he's one of my next projects. So, him... Uh, I don't have a good new gen at the moment, so him plus uh, Trick Triple H are my next projects after I get done with Cesaro. But yeah, I mean, yeah, look at the, yeah, again, X Pac. A thousand shards. I can very easily move up a couple of these moves here. So yeah, I mean, like I said, it's, it's not, I'm not going to be wasting resources. Oh, I, I just checked it. I'm at Milestone. I'm at milestone 10 of 16, and I'm just grinding out showdown matches until I, uh, so it's 637 in Dallas right now, I'm leaving, uh, I'm going to cut the stream off at the absolute latest at uh, 10 o'clock, because I have somewhere I need to be at 11. Yeah, great. Yeah, I, 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 my, my China is ready for five star silver. So I mean, I'm not gonna waste. I'm not gonna waste that on this event. So that's just that's just use an example. I, I'm not. I wouldn't. Uh, I, I wouldn't. I, I, I'm. <laughs> there is no way that I would do that big of a move on for just an event for an event like this. Yeah, I like I said, I double dip where I can. Um, the I'm getting some people ready for for talent up, obviously, and I mean, I you know, like this is the last week for for Morrison, so uh, the what is it? Um, like I said, so I'm gonna be moving like a couple people up there, but I I'm almost I almost have everybody ready for TU that I'm that I want to. Uh, I, I do also hope that I get the last of the shard, uh, the last of the tokens that I need to move up uh, Sasha to four star gold. I think she's worth it. And, I mean, even if she even if she loses some of those boosts uh, at the end of the month, you know, whenever this MLC is over, she's been a decent character for me. I like her. Yeah, right now, uh, right now, I'm hurting for blue TP. Um, I was hurting for green as well, but I got, I got, uh, I did get a bunch of green back, but blue, I'm absolutely hurting for right now. Yeah, the Evo tokens, yeah, usually, like, I get, you know, like, I, I'm able to get them up to, you know, I, I get them up to four-star gold, and then I have a ton left over. This time, yeah, it's, it's like pulling teeth trying to move her up. But it's mostly, I want her skip belt, is the reason why I, is the reason why I'm focusing so hard. But, you know, we'll, we'll like I said again, we'll see. If it happens, great. If it doesn't, eh. I mean, there's still the there's still the the Evo tokens in the vault uh, in the Snoop Dogg vault. There's you know the whatever coin and TP events are going to be this week too. So I mean, I got I got plenty of opportunities to do it. Yeah, but unless they have an event where they're going to give out three thousand uh, Evo tokens of her, that I don't I do not foresee me taking her to five star bronze.
Yeah, I, I like I, I've been waffling back and forth about using the the twenty percent gem damage belt or the skip turn. I well, I mean, again, it's one of those like, well, you know, it's like I'll I'll figure it out when I get to that point. Um, Sasha's not going to be the main person, you know, like my, my main female character, so I'm not I'm not like too. What you know? I mean, I already I already did her event. I already did her her tour in full, so it's not that it's not like I need it to, to get it done. I mean, I'm sure if I put the twenty percent on there, it would have helped her out. But um, yeah, I I just I got her. Uh, I I bought I did the three star silver, and um, I mean. I'm glad I did because that that definitely I I don't know if I would have gotten as far as I did, and I mean it in the sense of like I don't know if I would have gotten her to four star silver had I not done that just through the lack of tokens available this month. But I it's it's I mean it, it's been fine. Look here's the thing I like a little bit of a challenge you know if. If it was just, you know, if it was all one click, done, 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 then it'd be pretty boring. Have been able to get any of the special tokens? Um, some yes, some no. Uh, I do not have a... I don't have any good female powerhouses uh, at all period I think Nia Jax the three star silver is my highest one right now um, I do have the the mutant Bailey and I did get the Glamazon recently but it's just I haven't started on I haven't started on them because you know of course you know I always have 50 people that I want to move uh, yeah I did get Beth recently too like uh, last month I only just got her um, Oh, uh, this is Super Mario Brothers: The King Awaits OC Remix. There you go. I just, I just, I just choose a bunch of tracks at random and have it play on shuffle. Yeah, Beth is good. The uh, I would have worked up before. I just didn't have her. I mean, I got her. I got her last month with the with the check in bonus. Yeah, or the login bonus thingy. Uh, it's yeah. I mean, y'all know how it is. Uh, you know, you I only have so many, so many people that I can build up. You know, in any in any at any given time, and I just I had people on my. You know, I had people on the list that were more important for me to move up. Um, I am gonna move up. As much as I hate to, I really need to move up Showboat Becky because Becky Lynch is used enough to where I just I can't as much as bad as she is in this game, I, I have to. It's just you know there's really not anything about it. And also Tech Becky because uh, again, they're used so often. Here we go. We'll take a look at real. Yeah. Let's see, look at the women real quick. I'll switch that to talent. So, I mean, I'm gonna... Like I said, I'm low on blue TP, so... Um, this is where I am with Naomi right now. So, I only have 946. And the reason why I'm holding off on her as well is... I am, like, this close to getting Batista. I'm I'm, I'm 40 shards... I'm 40 shards away from, from getting the Icons of WrestleMania Batista. And I wanna... I wanna build him up as fast as possible... But um, as far as the women go, so China's going to go five-star silver at the next TU. And then after that, um, so she's her own thing, but I need a good female uh, Hall of Fame character. So Scott Hall is going to go five-star silver, and then I'm going to work on good old Trish right here. Uh, before I pulled uh, both of these right here, I was planning... I'm taking Lana as my next female project. But yeah, it's... Yeah, so here we go. So I just got these recently. And then... Um, you know, of course, the, the, the two Beckys. 
And then I have all... Uh, so, Goldie's not the only one that has all three gears for Charlotte. But uh, when I got the Icons of WrestleMania Charlotte, I didn't see the point of working on her anymore. And of course, now that there's a reality... There's a reality requirement, you know, there's that. And then I I want to move up Rhea Ripley because, uh, you know, I, look, I like her as a wrestler and plus, you know, she's actually good. So, like I said, it's one of those things having, you know, always, always there, you know, like there's always like 50 projects to, to do and only, you know, so many coins and tokens and TP to do it. And then just real quick on the men, um... I want to move him to 5 star silver, him make him 5 star silver, make Daniel Bryan 5 star silver. And then um, next is going to be Roman right there. Um, you know, Eddie's good. I want to move him up to just doing this super quick. I want to I want to start Drew's my next tech project. And then maybe DIY and maybe the DIY characters Uh, I still I need him to take, make Batista 9k wouldn't mind working up this Cena as well and then let's see APA JBL is uh, is a dark horse for getting moved up and let's see who else here Like I said, uh, as I alluded to earlier, this JBL needs to be moved up. I don't have a new good uh, good new gen character, so him and Bam Bam Bigelow probably. And then of course I just got Snoop last week, so I want to build up Snoop. R Truth needs to be built up. Strowman needs to be built up. So again, so many characters and so little time. <laughs> Yeah, a 20 shard offer from Batista. Yeah, and here's the thing. I got a... Uh, so I, I have the IGC to get Batista today just with refreshes. It's just I'm kind of... I'm not... I'm trying not to not to waste it. I really need to do some more Tap Joy games because... <laughs> uh, what is it? I'm like... I, I, I used all my cash resources this past week pretty much. Yeah, and the pursuit of Memrock. I did. Uh, I did the the big pull. What is it? The that whatever the big pull was in the Rocky Johnson cash loot, and I got absolutely nothing out of it. <laughs> and then uh, I did a five pull yesterday in the Strowman loot, just for the hell of it. And yeah, that was uh, that one wasn't very good either. Oh yeah, housekeeper. Yeah, enough time so little resources. Yeah, yeah. I spend a. Uh... Yeah, I probably, I probably, I could could consider this a second job with the amount of time I play this game every week. Let's see, twenty four and seventy eight. Yeah, but for what it's worth, I usually when I'm playing this game, I'm always, uh, I am always double tasking it. So it's, you know, it, it's situations like, you know, I'm watching the little one and, you know, he's playing and I'm, you know, I'm like, and then I'm playing this game in the background or it's, you know, uh, Mrs. She Mrs. Sheik and I are getting groceries and you know she's pushing the cart and you know I'm playing in the background while you know we're getting groceries and stuff so it's not it's not all just like you know like dedicated sitting and playing time like I am right now um, the little one and Mrs. Sheik are asleep so that's the reason why I came over to this room so I didn't disturb anybody <laughs> yeah uh, 
you know, being a dad, you gotta you gotta learn when when and where you can sneak away to to, to play or uh, like I said to multitask with with your time. When I'm with one of my clients at a doctor's appointment, I usually play. Yeah. Like I said, I just, you know, like, I find my snippets of time here and there to play whenever I can. I mean, and trust me, there have been plenty of times where, uh, you know, like, I'm in the middle of playing and, um, you know, like, I mean, the, the, you know, uh, my son is, you know, two and a half, so it's not as, you know, it's not as much of a deal, but, you know, like, when he's a baby, you know, like, when he was a baby, um, uh, I... I'll see if I can find the picture of it, but, I mean, there have been times before where, uh, you know, like, with, with feuds and stuff, you know, he was hungry, so, you know, there's, there's a picture, you know, like, there are pictures of me doing this with, uh, with the phone in my hand, feuding and whatnot, so, it's, you know, you, you, you figure, like I said, you, again, you, you figure out, you, you figure out the best thing to do. Like, Merrick's cat stream, yeah. My dogs are asleep right now, too. Yeah, I was debating, like, here's the thing, like, I, I really was debating, um, just... What can I say? Like, I, I debated, like, just playing, uh, you know, it's like just waking up and just playing, but, you know, chatting with all y'all, like I said, it just, it makes it a lot more, it makes it a lot more enjoyable, and plus it helps me, like, stay motivated and stay up to play. Uh... <laughs> I think, uh, like I said, playing on the phone is a lot quicker for me than it is playing on blue stacks, but, you know, it's like, like I said, I have fun, I have, I, I genuinely enjoy chatting with all of you while I play, uh, you know, uh, I, you know, it's like, it's not like, uh, you know, it's not like I'm sitting here, you know, playing and saying, please give me bits, please give me subscriptions, uh, I mean, like, you know, I'm, you know, I mean, I, you know, G and DJZ and Marix and Goldie, nobody's like that, but, you know, um, I, I've seen, I've seen a, a few streamers out there that, like, sit there and just beg for, you know, just beg for, uh, for subs and bits and stuff in a sense, or, you know, it's the, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it's like everything that, you know, everything that you say is like, Oh, well, blah, 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 you know, it's like, here's my Patreon, and here's this, and, ah, shh. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much, um... Yeah, Sensei, like, that, that's pretty much what it is, is that, um... I, uh... I, like, I, I... I just feel like I said I do this. I do this for fun, you know. Um, this isn't a career by any means. Um, it's just a, it's a fun way of me interacting with people. Yeah. Uh, the the one thing that so I, I'm not. I, how do I say this? Like. The one thing is, I really wish I could have gotten into streaming earlier, but my other, my, my old computer was just, uh, it was about six years, oh, yeah, it was about six or seven years old, I mean, like, for surfing the web and stuff, it was fine, I don't, um, as much of a, as much of a techie as I am, Uh, you know, I, at the end of the day, like, I just use a computer to go online and surf the web and stuff. So I don't need, you know, like, I don't need, uh, uh, you know, like a computer, you know, it's like, you know, I don't need a $4,000 computer or anything like that. That'd be a complete waste on me. Uh, but, 
uh, the, you know, like I said, my other, my other computer, I mean, like, I, uh, before the portal, before the portal was a thing, uh, I tried running blue stacks on it a couple times, uh, so there's like there's there's Blue Stacks, there's Memu, and there's Nox, which are the main Android emulators. Oh, Housekeeper, thank you very much for the bits. Uh, you know, there's like the three, and Memu was the only one that played properly. And I mean, even then, it was laggy as fuck the entire time that I played. And there was no way that my old computer would have been able to let me stream. You know, like to run OBS and Blue Stacks. Because, I mean, like, even running Memu, like, my com you would have thought my computer was about to jump out of a window with how, with, with how loud it was running those fans. So, um, I just, like, you know, it's like, and then what happened was, is like I said, it just, it got to the point where my computer was running like crap all the time anyway, and I was just like, fuck it, I need, I need to get another one. And then, um, when I got myself a new laptop, I was just like, well, it's like, you know, this one's a lot better. Let me see if I can do streaming with it. And I could, and here we are today. And then Housekeeper, yeah, as soon as I'm sitting in a hot tub with an inflatable pl uh, purple flamingo and writing down my name, uh, your name on my body <laughs> for being a generous sub gifter, you'll consider gifting subs and bits more. Yeah. Well, what is it? Yeah, but you know, they told me that it's uh, it's against the the T's and C's for me to uh, have my shirt off. So I mean, I don't want to get my shirt wet I'm sitting in a hot tub. Maybe I can go to Target or something and pick up a bathing suit. <laughs> Look. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I've ever if I've ever talked about this before. Um the <sighs> You know, and, and uh, you know, it's it's a never it, it's a no win situation. I'm gonna be 100% upfront about this. There's there's two sides to me and the the titty streamers or whatever. There's a portion of me that says, look, if you got people who are thirsting over you that badly, by all means, go for it. You know. Uh, you know, like, basically, you know, it's like, you know, that you know, y'all have heard the the saying, a fool and his money are soon parted. If you, if you want to do that, by all, you know, like I said, if you got people who are that desperate to, you know, and they're willing to give you money, go ahead, do it, you know, milk them for all you can. But then, like, there's, there's another side of me that's just like, for fuck's sake, like, you know, you know, like, you know, like, you know, when you, when you hear about it, you know, uh, there's also the other side of me that's like you're really like you know it's like you're making like you know 10 grand a month or 15 grand a month for fucking streaming and just like ooh look at me i got tits you know and i'm just like and that drives me up the wall because i'm like you know it's like i went to grad school you know like i said i you know like i you know i worked two full-time jobs to put myself through you know to, to put myself through undergrad and then you know it's like you know, did this, did that, you know, it's like, and I'm, you know, it's like, I, and I, you know, and on top of that, I, you know, like I said, I, you know, I have a master's degree and, you know, like some, you know, like I said, someone out there just, you know, showing that much cleavage is making just as much as more or more than me. And I'm like, fuck, like, ah, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Housekeeper, yeah, it's like, you don't know what's worse, the amount of people that want to see the other streamers that try to please those people that somewhere went wrong with the world. And then, uh, when I watch a Marvel stream where the streamers call, uh, bid to call the last place Marvel loser, it's really funny, but now it's terms term to sort of call a loser. But they will let a 15 or 16 year old girl do a hot tub stream, but you can't call someone a loser in a joking fashion. Yeah, I... 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go through that list, Jabili. Yeah, it, it's just like I said, look, T, I, I mean, I'm, again, like at the end of the day, I mean, I'm not going to lose any sleep, you know, uh, you know, and I, I've told you all before, like I said, it's not, it's not me being a, a social justice warrior or anything like that. Look, if they want to do that, that's, that's their business. I just, like I said, it just drives me, it just, like I said, half of me, half of it is like, hey, go for it. Do you know? Uh, I, again, I, not, 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 not beating that horse. Like I said, half of me is like, hey, if they're stupid enough to pay you, go ahead, do it. But then on the other hand, it's like, I can't believe that people are stupid enough to, to, to pay. You. Like, uh, eh. which, by the way, if uh, if y'all wanna buy my bath water. Uh, just let me know, and I'll be more than happy to jar some up for you. <laughs> or, yeah, or make sure, like, yeah, just, uh, yeah, or, uh, you know, become a tier 3 sub and I'll add you to my private Snapchat where you get to see risque photos of Iron Sheik 84. Yeah, while waiting for a DJ stream to start, you were looking at recommended channels and there was one where this girl was just chatting, opened it up, and somebody was sitting there looking at her phone and someone gave her a hundred... Well, I don't know if you meant a hundred thousand or ten thousand bits. The best part was that she was completely no-sold it. Yeah, I... I forget if it was you or somebody else, but somebody told me that, um... <laughs> oh yeah, Housekeeper, by the way, 100... Oh fuck, 100,000, damn. Uh, housekeeper, by the way, I don't even have Snapchat, so that would be a waste, just an FYI. Yeah, what is it? I got so I'll I'll tell you right now. I do have an Instagram and the and I got really mad that I, that I had to get one because um, I, I I you might have heard me talk about it in DJ streams. So there's this arcade in Chicago. Well, it's it's outside of Chicago, and I mean I'm not gonna get into semantics, but it's outside of Chicago. It's called the it's called the Galloping Ghost Arcade, and it's. You could, cons I mean, here's the thing, you could argue that it's the best arcade in the world. I've been there twice, uh, whenever I've been to Chicago, and it is fantastic. It is an arcade enthusiast, you know, dream. And, uh, every once in a while on Instagram, they would post, like, some of their arcade things. And, uh, Instagram won't let you look at posts without actually having an account. So, I was forced to get one. And I have, um, I think six photos on there. Of just mostly they're they mostly they're my boy. Uh, you know the, uh, you know uh, there's actually let me look at my Instagram right now while while I'm waiting for this next match to load. Let's see my account. Okay, I take that bad. I actually have 15 photos, which I'm surprised about. There's a photo of me, the me, Mrs. Sheik, and my son when we went to a national. Uh, we went to a park in Oklahoma. There's me standing next to the Jolly Bee. There's my son walking around in his uh, in his Halloween costume. There's a photo of me saying go vote uh my a video of my son playing in the snow some food more snow whenever i got my hair straightened uh i won a contest to get some korean band or whatever i'd never heard of them i just i felt bad for the for the girls and i donated and i ended up winning uh but you know i went on instagram just to promote their contest uh, my son feeding a giraffe, um, a, a picture of a bunch of us at the zoo, uh, my son on a longhorn when we went to the stockyards, my son riding on a pony, me and Chase Owens of the Bullet Club, and then a picture of the kebabs. That's it. So you can tell how much I use my Instagram in general.
but yeah, uh, yeah, just in general, I'm not, ugh. Here's the thing, I like Reddit because it has informative, like, articles and whatnot, and plus there's a bunch of cute animals and whatnot, but other than that, I just, I'm not a fan of social media in general. I think giving the platform for any idiot to give their opinion uh, has really divided <laughs> the world in more ways than one. And yeah, if I gave somebody 100,000 bits and they just went, thanks, I would be super, super pissed. I mean, unless that's part of her shtick, I don't mean, I don't know. I mean, that's why, uh, that's why some people like, uh, what's her name? Is it Aubrey Edwards? The, the girl from Aubrey Plaza. Uh, have you all, have, do you know who I'm talking about? The, the person from Parks and Rec, the... The the weirdo girl, the one that married uh, Chris Platt in the show. And Northern Mouth, good morning. Yeah, like you know, like I said, if it was that, if that was their shtick, then you know, then of course, then you know, I mean, I, I don't want to sit here and say, well, blah 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 blah, and you know, have it be their thing. There was a yes a. a yeah, more Northern Mouth. How are you doing today, by the way? Uh, how did how's Showdown Day One and uh, how did Show Showdown Day One go for you? And how's Day Two now? So I've already maxed Day Two. Uh, if you're just joining, I'm just grinding through the uh, through the bonus matches and chit chatting and talking about uh, just you know whatever while we're while we're uh, taking a look at this. Yeah, one of the weirdest ones, Sensei, that I was ever on. Um, there was, uh, there was this guy, it was, uh, it was, it, again, I don't, I mean, obviously, I've never seen this guy, so I don't know if the, if, if it was actually his wife or not, but, um, it's, they, you know, they're, you know, it's like they were sitting there and just like, as, you know, it was on the recommended channels and I was just going along and I, like, I, like, I just, I was randomly on this person's channel and they had just started and, you know, he was just sitting there being like, hey, how's everybody and blah, 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 blah. And, um, and his wife was on. And, you know, they're like, hey, how's it going? It's like, this is my, you know, it's like, he's like, this is my wife. He's like, this is the person that I have sex with, you know? And then he's like, yeah, you know, it's like, she, you know, she lets me put my penis in her, you know? And like, it was shit like that. And I'm, and I'm not joking and I'm not overstating it. Like he was literally saying stuff like that. And then, and again, like I said, they, the, 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 the it had just started and then, um, like somebody like right off the bat donated a hundred dollars to him and he's like, wow, thank you very much. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's like, I'm going to get some tonight with her. And I was just like, what the fuck is this? I'm, I just, I immediately turned it off after that. Cause I mean, like there's, you know, again, like I was just like, not only was it stupid, but I was like, yeah, I'm not watching this. But in the, in the same token, I was just like people like somebody actually gave him a hundred bucks for this kind of content and i was just like i was like all right oh whatever yeah just finished maxing today's showdown i'm just waiting for attacks for lower defense opponents all right yeah well best of luck to you in northern mouth uh everything max i hate becky yeah i uh, i'm i uh like i said Chatting with all of you makes this that much more bearable. But yeah, I'm already, between yesterday and today, I'm already like, ugh. 
housekeeper sent me a DM. Yeah, but yeah, I'll, uh, oh, I didn't realize it was that much. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll read it. I'll read it later. I got, I got time. This is one of the things I hate. No matches, which means that Charlotte's going to come in, and that's just more... going to take me longer to beat this. Also wish I had my hairband, but I don't want to risk waking up my wife. And I have a hat here, but I don't feel like wearing it. This is much of a grind, maybe get halfway through it. Yeah, I... Look, I want to get as far as I can because I want... Uh, I mean, I'm not hurting for coins right now, but uh, some of the some of the coins and stuff and the milestones to me are worth it. So, I mean, why not? What else am I going to do? Sleep? <laughs> yeah, uh... Yeah, I know a bunch of people that that aren't even going to bother to do the to do the grinding because they're like, well, it's like no guaranteed character equals I'm not going to do it. So, I mean, hey, maybe I should have done the same thing and just went back to bed, just just slept and said, eh, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, if I had all day today, it would be a lot it would be a lot simpler, but um like I said, I uh in, a, in three hours, I gotta I gotta cut it off and, and go, and I'm gonna play at the Cidercade and just play video games and have a guy's day out. So that's uh, that that's severely gonna cut back on my showdown time. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, on the, eh. so I, I mean, I, I don't want to beat something to death that a bunch of people have already talked about, um, there's gaps in the game that at some point need to happen so that being said um here, let, let, here well i'll take i'll just take i'll just take a minute to take a look at it and we'll talk about it and then also i'm gonna go get some more coffee uh but yeah i'm gonna just take a short break i'll take a bathroom break get some coffee and then come back uh So here's a uh, so here's you know like here's the here's the women obviously right so here we're gonna go by era so we have two strikers when we have a tech we have the legends with the one you know like with the with the one showboat you know here's Hall of Fame two showboats one one tech 
one one acrobat you know so on so on so on i mean i'm not gonna go through every 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 single one of these and there are characters i don't have you know mind you but you know here's a you know it's like here's an attitude era powerhouse you know this is you know blah 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 that being said look you know it's like so i counted off a powerhouse a striker we already had a tech i don't understand why stacy couldn't be an acrobat she couldn't be a showboat you know or a trickster so that's that's my so th with the character like that's one you know that that that's my thing and then um we don't have any new gen women in the game period there needs to be yeah maybe saying that the new card isn't good as a stretch but i think the highlights the problem always putting out these super op cards yeah um that i mean that's always that's always something too i mean um Look, you know, I get, I get people are, uh, you know, like some people are like, oh, you know, it's like she's just a copy of that other card, you know, but my, like I said, my thing is they, like I said, if, you know, if they wanted to do the copy card or whatever, that, that's fine. Look, you know, um, Tech Black is still a decent card. Okay, maybe not, you know, not... I mean, you know, he's not Montez Ford, you know, or uh, or Sako. I get, I get that, but you know, still a decent card nonetheless. I just really wish that, you know, that like like again, like I said, not beating a dead horse, but you know, a new gen woman, you know, or another category would have been very nice to have you know and if the game's going to continue giving me uh <laughs> the game's going to continue continue to give me belts for eras and classes that don't exist in the game it would be very nice for them to be created so that uh i actually get some use out of them and I'm not just talking for myself here. I mean, this is for everybody. You know, I, I can't even begin to tell you. I mean, like, look, I'm not going to sit here and say, like, you know, oh, it's in the thousands or something like that. But, I mean, how many of y'all have had to, uh, have gotten belts for classes that don't exist and you just, you know, you end up, I mean, like, you're like, hey, it's free strap parts for me, but, you know. I mean, because that's the way I look at it. I'm just like, well, it's like, hey, it's strap part, you know, it's, it's, Oh, uh, it's an epic belt that I can sell for strap parts. Great. You know, that that's literally what it turns out to be. Supercard Chemo, good morning. I saw your name a couple times on my list. Yeah, I'm just... There you go. Why risk it? Yeah, like, uh, yeah, Rackers, good morning. Yeah, like, I got, um, I got a Legends Trickster women's belt just now, and I mean, like, it was, it was completely useless. No, I did get a Ruthless Aggression belt, which I can put on Beth, so great, but, yeah, I mean, I, I, again, like, I can't, I can't tell you guys how many times, pretty much any time that I get a women's belt, it's useless to me. Seeing you tried to attack me. Yeah, I think, what is it, uh, I think, I forgot if I won that one or not, but, uh, my, uh, I was playing with, a, with dangerously low health Charlotte there. But yeah, uh, okay, so like I said, I'm gonna take just a short, like, just two minute break, need to use the bathroom, and I need to, uh, go get myself some more coffee, but I will be right back. So, uh, see y'all in just a couple minutes.
Hello everyone, I am back. Alright. Back to this. But yeah, um... Yeah, like I said, just, just getting back to it, yeah, I just, I feel like there's, uh... That there's gaps that need to be filled, and, um... You know, uh, and also, uh, with the, like, the PG, man, I really wish I had something to, to hold my hair back right now. Um, you know, like I said, again, I, I just, I hate to, I hate to be a broken record and say stuff, but I, I really, really... Uh, you know, I mean, I, we talked about the we talked about the women as well. Um, another thing on top of that, uh, especially uh, Mask Ranger, thank you very much for the follow and good morning, welcome to the stream. Uh, I, you know, like especially after the PG, uh, <laughs> the, the the PG thing that we just had. Uh, I wish that we could have um, a couple more choices because, uh, like, on the PG era, pretty much everybody is, what, at least, like, a year and a half, two years old at this point. And in this game, that's... Like, you know, uh, I mean, I'm sure you all agree with me. Like, how many year one characters are there that are still legitimately viable in this game. And I know people could, you know, and here's the thing, I know, um, I know there's like, you know, uh, you know, there's like the, oh, well, you know, if you put like, you know, a 50k flat damage and do this and do that and blah, 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 then, you know, the, you know, do that. I, I'm not, I'm not talking about that, but, um, just for example, you know, like we we've seen the we've seen the meme characters. You can't put like a five star Neville on the same uh, you know tier or playing field as like as a Montez Ford or a DX Sean, right? We I would like to see some more variety in the. You know, like, some more variety in the... How do I don't know how to say this. Like, some more variety in the characters that are released. So, like, it was cool that we had the... the like, the like the Bushwhackers month. And then, you know, we had Afa and Sika. But, uh, you know, like, we get a lot of modern era people. Um, and a lot of attitude era people. Like, I would like to see some of the other... Some of the other eras represented a little bit more. New gen women is probably at the top of my list, but um, I mean, just in general, just uh, some more variety among uh, among the uh, the other uh, the other areas in this game. I accidentally opened up Photoshop for some reason. I guess I was paying attention where I was clicking. Square came out, completed all for SD. Milestone 14 is probably the highest I'll get. Yeah, I... Let's see, where am I in the grind right now? 95 on Asuka, 41 on Becky, and then 53 on Sasha. Oof, this is... Uh, the Becky one's the hardest because uh, I just... I haven't worked on Tech Becky at all, or the Showboat version, but I'm going to. They're they're needed enough. I just, I mean, I'm not gonna make them. You know, I'm not. I mean, I'm not gonna max them out at five star silver, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna definitely just put some resources into them to get them at least a four star each, so that they're somewhat useful for events like this, for my sanity.
but at least you know what I, I am at least thankful that I have zombie Oscar because trying to do this with you know trying to do this with the uh, with the tech version would have been terrible good morning buttnik uh, I, I've been on for I've been almost on for two hours now Ooh. <laughs> yeah it's way too early yeah, but like I was saying last night, you know, it's like I I have my my pretty much my hard cut off at ten. So if I want to get if I want to get the grind, and I got to do it. Yeah, I, I like I was playing last night, but honestly, uh, I had a very 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 long day yesterday, and. Um, when we went to go eat last night, uh, the so the little one he usually takes a nap in the afternoon around. I want to say, well, I mean it varies a little bit, but for the most part, he takes a nap around maybe one o'clock to, it, you know, for, between 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 noon and two, you know, he falls, you know, it's like he takes a nap. But yesterday he didn't take a nap at all, and then he fell asleep at six o'clock. So, you know, and it wasn't a it wasn't a big deal, you know. We just we just you know we leave him you know we leave him alone, let him let him sleep. But uh, what happened is uh, he just he was taking like a very very long nap at six o'clock, and we woke him up because you know then he wouldn't go to sleep you know he wouldn't go to sleep in the evening you know it's it, we've had this happen before you know he'll wake up at one in the morning and then he's just like up oh, I, I I'm full it's like I've slept I'm not tired. Uh, so, we, so, like, I gently, like, I just, I picked him up, because I was like, you know, it was family dinner time, so I just, I picked him up, and I was gonna put him in the car, and if he fell asleep, great, if he didn't, you know, if it, if it didn't, it, like, it would wake him up, and I did it very gently, but, uh, we drove over, you know, like, he was, he was fine, but then as soon as we got to, uh, as soon as we got to the place where we were gonna eat last night, he just started throwing a fit and we ended up just doing a to-go order rather than uh you know disturbing everybody else in the uh in the place that we went to and then uh when i got home last night he was like you know he's like ah, i want to play i don't want to go to bed so <laughs> i ended up uh especially because i knew i had a full day anyway uh i ended up sleeping in uh, one of the other rooms and uh oof. Just like I said, just long, a long, long day on top of a long, long day. <laughs> and also, I'm, you know, like I'd rather do these day two where you can double up on the matches. Because I got to the point last night to where, uh, you know, it was going to be Charlotte and someone else. And that's just going to take three times as long doing it, one, you know, for, for me doing it one match at a time. So that, that was also a big contributing factor in me not doing this last night. Abhishek, 17, thank you very much for the follow. Yeah, so Supercard's, yeah, so Supercard has finished up his matches. I still got, I still got a ways to go. Um, we, uh, so Budnick, uh, I showed it earlier, we're going to be going to this barcade, um, called Cidercade here in Dallas. So they make, uh, like their, their shtick is, you know, it's $10 to get in, unlimited free play, and then they they make their own ciders and seltzers and stuff. And I don't drink, so it's not a, like I don't care about what their cider selection is, but that's that's the pretty much the reason why people go. So while I'm at the arcade, I might be able to sneak away and do a match or two there. 
without anybody uh, getting mad about me being on my phone the whole time while we're out, but uh, that's going to be few and far between here. Oh yeah, Budnick, I know you were grinding away at it last night. How far did you get in the in the matches? Um, here we'll, we'll check in a little bit. I uh, I think I'm over. I think I have. Uh, 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 and I'm talking about completed matches, not left. Um, I have. I, I think I'm over 100 with so with Asuka now, and I think I'm in the 30s with Becky, but we'll, we'll, we'll check here. And then of course I was able to get over a thousand and stay over a thousand easily last night. Alright, so yeah, I'm, okay, so I'm at a hundred on the dot with... Asuka, I got 46 with Becky and 53 with uh, Sasha. But uh, Housekeeper did bring up a good point. Um, so I have like, you know, it's like once I get through, and I know it sounds like a slog, but once I get through the 50 matches, I can double up with Sasha. So that'll, that'll at least help me get through it a lot faster. Housekeeper, congratulations. How many medallions do I have now? I'll, I'll check. I, I I don't have all ten. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, I, I've i done some of them, Housekeeper. I haven't done all of them. And also, like I said, I I don't have a good I don't have a good powerhouse woman or reality era right now anyway. So, I I mean, I know for a fact that I'm not going to be able to, to get through those nodes anyway. Um, there is like that... Uh, so... Are you all, uh, are, are are any of you on the the WWE Games Universe Facebook page? Uh, you know the one that Casey Platinum used to run. I'm not like that one dude, like the that Mohammed said whatever that you know that that's on this game like you know 23 hours a day getting every single one of those. Uh, milestones and whatnot yeah and i'm not uh and, and by the way i'm not calling anybody out but you know you know you know who i'm talking about right yeah again like i said i don't want to make it seem like i'm i'm making fun or making comments or whatever but uh is that Sir Zoro? I, I, I don't know. Oh, that is okay. Okay, then that explains it. I didn't know who that. I didn't know who that was. Hey, look, I, I again, like I said, I just. I'm not backtracking, like I said. I'm not making fun of anybody. That dude puts in a shitload of work. It's just, uh, you know, like I said, I, just, I see his name on there. Uh, I see his name on there all the time. Okay, let's see. How many medallions does Iron Sheik 84 have? Actually, no, it's probably going to be quicker to look it up this way. I got six. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I gotta tell you right now, the, uh, I know for a fact that I'm not gonna, I would, even if I did the tour in complete, completely, 100%, I already know I wouldn't be hitting 10 anyway, because, 
uh, the last faction feud, or the last feud or whatever it was, uh, I did hit that one next milestone or whatever, the 10 million one to get a medallion. Um, I fell short. I mean, it's, but it, again, it's whatever. I, I don't care. Do you know the last day we can use shirts? Um, it's basically, it, it's basically the last day of the, of the, of the, of the, uh, of the MLC. Um, it's usually, sometimes they'll extend it a, a day, but pretty much the last day of the MLC is the last day that you can use it. There's more than 10 available? Okay, then maybe I'll hit 10 at that point. Yeah, I mean, look. Here's the thing: uh, there are going to be people who are going to have uh, who are going to have way more than I do. But again, I, I don't care. I'm going to have however many I'm going to have. Sasha and Asuka done. Congrats. Ugh, I still got a while to go before that. Look, here's the thing. As long as it's not fucking uh, icons of WrestleMania shards again, <laughs> I'll be happy. on seven right now there's one in the SD contest yeah um, like I said there's the I think there's like with the, the two that I can get it may not be that I can't get to them it, it might just be that um, it, it might just be that I had just I haven't gotten around to it uh, I've, I've actually been very busy with work lately and then um, on top of that I mean I uh, you know I hate to keep bringing it up but you know uh, I am married and I have a kid, so <laughs> you know that that kid that kid requires and deserves uh, time with dad. <laughs> I can't just bury my face in my phone the whole time, so <laughs> yeah, it's gone. Yeah, so eight more days, pretty much. Although the thing, what's funny with the with the little one now, is uh, you know obviously you know like the older that he's getting, the more uh, like you know the the smart you know he gets smarter every single day of course. So uh, I, I haven't talked about this. He's been doing this for a while now, and I kind of like we have to keep an eye on him because we're you know like we're worried that he's gonna break the refrigerator. But uh, you know it used to be like you know of course like whenever he got hungry you know he'd come over you know and he'd say sheer which sheer is milk in Farsi. Um, you know, he'd be like, she, she, you know, and then, uh, we, you know, like, we'd give him, you know, like, we'd get, like, you know, we'd give him some milk, but now he knows that it's in the fridge, and he knows that it's up top, so he just, like, he just yanks the door open, and we have our milk in the, in the door, so he either, he either starts, like, reaching for the top, for the top shelf, or he, like, he tries to grab the gallon of milk, and he's not tall enough, and especially when it's full, he doesn't have the uh, the strength to pick it up. So it's like, you know, uh, sometimes we'll be watching TV and, you know, he just makes a mad dash for the kitchen. And by the time that, by the time that I get up to go, to go, you know, to go chase him down, he's already, uh, you know, it's like he's already just like swung the door open and it's like, come on, you know, and I'm like, ah, you're going to break the fridge. <laughs> Yeah, the other thing too is uh, he knows where he knows where we hide the candy as well now. So uh, he'll go over to the pantry and he'll open it up and he'll start to reach for it. And then when he can't get to it, 
he'll come over and he'll grab my hand and he'll walk me over or he'll push me or like if I'm in the kitchen like he'll push over and he'll start pointing at the candy and I'm like you know then I usually at that point I'm just like all right fine here you can have a skittle Another, oh, another four. Okay, so I have 50 left with Becky now. And 46 with Asuka. Oh yeah, by the way, so just, uh, just throwing this out there. Obviously, I don't have any uh, advanced intel or anything like that. Um... You know, there's a, what is it, there's that timer on uh, the Icons WrestleMania uh, trivia and whatnot. Do you think that in a month and a half or whatever they're going to start introducing new characters? Or do you think they're just going to reset the clock? You bet it'll be new characters. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know, like I said, I'm just throwing it out there, just asking y'all. Uh, I, so it's kind of a moot point now that I've already built up Charlotte to this point. I wish that there was a way of getting more Charlotte shards. Because, like, with, the um, with the icons of WrestleMania, like, for example, like, if I were to get Batista today... Which I could, like I said, if I refreshed it enough, I could get them right now. But, uh... I... How it works in the portal, I know I'm on the mobile game. Everyone, everything needs a timer on it now for the world. Yeah. Um, so, like, like, Batista, for example. If I were to unlock Batista today... You know, tomorrow I can go back to the show, Showdown store and... Oh, housekeeper! I was gonna. I'm about to say that I do. I do know that. Uh, I, I did know that, by the way. I was gonna. I was gonna preface that. Um, I know that. Um, like I can. Like, like um, Becky. Uh, you know, in the Stip tour for you know for like for Cena and Brett and Triple H and whatnot. I can go and get more shards of him, uh, of, of him and her respectively, if I want to. The thing with Charlotte is they, you know, like, there, there's no other ways of getting Charlotte shards, you know, outside of that. And um, as far as the legendary section of the marketplace goes, look, I I have yet to even one time... Ah, uh, shit. I hope that this doesn't come back and bite me in the ass. <laughs> uh... I have yet to ever see the Aleister Black shards. I have yet to ever see... Ah, uh, fuck, I might actually lose this one. Um. I don't know, I don't, I mean, here's the thing, I don't know if, yeah, fuck, I lost. Uh. I, I, I mean, like, I, look, I haven't seen Hogan, um, you know, I mean, like, I, just, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not shocked by that, but. I haven't seen Hogan, I haven't seen Aleister Black shards, I haven't seen Macho Man or the Mr. McMahon or any of them. And I'm talking like, you know, uh, not even once. I I honestly don't even know if anybody's ever gotten Hogan or uh, out of that before. I mean, I've seen plenty of people who got, who got the, the featured characters from the Ruby store. I mean, maybe not a ton, but some. But I, yeah, I, I don't, yeah, like I said, I, I mean, maybe y'all have a bigger pool of people to look at than I do, but I certainly haven't. And it would have been nice, I mean, here's the thing, like I said, again, I know this is a moot point. If they reset it, it would be nice to be able to earn more shards. Um, 
Yeah, well, Sensei, like, what I did was, okay, so, pretty much, as soon as Charlotte was introduced, I had her in the first week. Because what I did was, uh, I had the, I had that guide that got, um... You know that that got that you know that that those that those people like took out and monetized later on. Uh, I like I just I grinded it out. Uh, what I would do is, whenever I would have a break at work, I would just go and you know do ten to fifteen minutes of. I mean, not even ten to fifteen minutes. I mean, like what going through trivia is like what two or three minutes or whatever. So if I took like a bathroom break, I would go and you know do the three do. Uh, do that or like if I was on my lunch break you know I would take like 10 minutes or whatever and then you know just you know kind of like I was telling you all I always multitask you know so if you know like if I was with a little one and he was you know he was playing like you know I would hop on and you know play you know do like 10 minutes or 15 minutes of that and then you know it would be like I would buy the energy you know I'd buy like the max like the 32 energy I would get down to five or six you know just as a safety net and then I would go and buy more energy, and then I would do that, and then you know, um, buy you know buy the re rolls, do that. And like I said, in, in the first week, I had I had Charlotte. Um, by the way, I did the regular rolls because uh, the you know like I never I didn't get anything on the mega re rolls, so I just did that. And then um, yeah, I mean like I said, and I got her. And like now, of course, like you know, the more questions they add, the uh, just the the harder it is. So I'm glad I did it when I did it. But you know, the problem is uh, now that I, now that it's done, I don't have anything. I don't have anything left to do. Um, the you know, it's there. You know, like the Charlotte shards. Like I said, I can't earn anymore, and I really wish I could have. Um. keep getting pinged on here yeah by the way since increase now that I'm on my phone right now you're you're more than welcome to uh, more than welcome to give me a hundred thousand bits Uh, Destroyer, it did not go very well. I, I did watch it. It didn't go. It didn't go very well. <laughs> well, since it creased, you know, for you know, for 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 every for every ten thousand bits, that zipper is gonna come down more and more. <laughs> I've seen a Casey Tron stream, by the way. That's what they do. So, like, basically, those guys will, like, will, will, like, give bits. And then, like, she'll lower down her zipper a little bit more. And then, you know, of course, as soon as she, like, lowers it a little bit, uh, you know, it's like, then you get a bunch of, you know, then you get, you know, dozens of other horny 12-year-olds donating more bits to her to get her to put her zipper down further. Yeah, and Housekeeper, yeah, I still haven't seen you yet. It's pretty, like I said, it's, when I don't, uh, you know, as funny as it is, I haven't seen, so like I said, I haven't seen you, I haven't seen, um, so I did, I did run into two Bob, I didn't face him, but I did run into him, um, so I, I, like I said, I haven't run into that, I haven't run into Katoon Festival, and, uh, anybody else, I did see one True King at one point as well, but that's about it. I mean, even last night when I was uh, in the twelve and thirteen hundreds, I didn't see uh, you know I didn't see any of the usual killers. I see. Yeah, if I saw Portland Frank, I'd kick his ass too. And then I'd take a screenshot of it and I'd send it to him and be like, ha 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 ha. Sheik is the KT. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, I did run into Kid Kelly last night, though. Uh, it was funny. I uh, I didn't face him, but uh, I was just like, hey, I was like, look, I was like, somebody I know. And then he told me, he's like, I switched my team. And I was like, no, you didn't. I was like, do you not see the timestamp? Oh yeah, by the way, I, uh, so I know I've talked about this before, you know, it's like in about, like, you know, this just being a hobby and everything, but I did actually, I woke up, the, I woke up this morning and I found out that I got my first payout ever from Twitch. So I've been, like I said, I've been an affiliate since, uh, since Easter Sunday and I got my very first payout and I was so happy about that. Y'all have no idea. It, like, uh, you know, I was just like, oh my god, I was like, I finally got my first one, yay! Because they don't, they don't pay you out until you hit a hundred bucks. Um, so I was, I was super stoked about that. Uh, the person that made my avatar, um, no, uh, somebody, so I, I actually, so I made my, uh, I had my own avatar at one point that I, that I personally made. And then um, somebody reached out to me on Twitter uh, and asked if I was uh, if I was interested in, in having one made. And so I was just like I was like yeah I was like look I was like this is my budget. Uh, if you can do it for this much, I'm you know I'm fine with it. Uh, and they agreed to it, and this is that's what they made, and I'm very happy with it. But no, I uh, I don't think it's the same one that did Garrison's. At least I think so. I don't know. I've never asked them who did it and who or who didn't. Yeah, and the and the main reason is is uh the one that the one that I had before was kind of janky. Yeah. Oh no, it's all good. Look, I, I I'm I'm pretty open about a lot of things. I mean, there there are a few things that I'm just like, eh, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna talk about it, but. For the most part, I mean, like, look, I'm not, you know, if somebody asks me a question, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna just blow it off. But, uh, the, uh, but that being said, uh, yeah, the only, th the only, uh, I, you know, I mean, I'm pretty much a one-man show when it comes to this stuff. Uh, like I said, that, uh, I'm not, I'm not super artistically inclined, um, I know how to do I know how to do some stuff uh but uh pretty much like you know like the like my emotes and everything uh I I you know I watched videos on how to do it and you know learned from there uh the transitions that you're seeing now um I was going to I was going to uh find somebody who made who could, who knows how to make those because I looked up uh I looked up how to how to how to make a transition and I, I gotta tell you, it was, and I'm not saying I can't do it. It's just, uh, I watched a video the other day and I, like I said, it was just, I, you know, uh, first of all, I don't have After Effects. Um, I have, I have Photoshop and I have Premiere Pro and even those, like, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm the end all be all expert on Photoshop and Premiere Pro, but, uh. Yeah, I was watching like how to how to make a transition. And by by the way, what I'm what I'm talking about on transitions is uh, like you see the the blue thing right there. Um, yeah, like like that in the little sound clip. I I, I like I, I was I was I wanted to, I wanted to make uh, I wanted to make the I, I just wanted to do it just so that it wasn't just an abrupt change from scene to scene. Like whenever I. Whenever we, you know, like I bring something up on my browser or I switch to the camera to talk to people. Uh, luckily, I found some free ones, but I do want to make, I do want one that, uh, you know, like just like DJ Stream or Garrison's where, you know, when it transitions, it has like my logo or 
it says Iron Sheik 84 or whatever. Um, I'm going to see if I can't figure out how to do it. Um, again, I've, I've spent zero time, you know, a, looking at it and seeing how to do it. But if I if it looks like it's above my pay grade or it's just, it looks incredibly shitty, then I'll just, you know, like I'll, I'll go on Fiverr or something and figure out uh, and find somebody who'll do it. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know if I've ever, uh, oh, I was gonna say, I just got a message on my phone. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I ever mentioned this before, but yeah, like, I, I'm, uh, like, I'm 100%, I'm, a, I'm 100% a one-man show. Uh, I edit my own videos, I, you know, like, I made my own intros. Like I said, the only thing that I haven't, that I had, that I didn't do was this avatar, which I paid for. But, uh, you know, little by little, I learned, you know, more about streaming, more about how to do this and that, uh, how to set up alerts, how to do, you know, how to do all this stuff. Um, and, you know, if I, if I did streaming as a, you know, as a full-time job, you know, I, you know, I'd pay somebody to, to do my edits and whatnot, just so that I don't have to do it. But yeah, it, I'm not gonna, I, I, I'm not gonna ask anybody to do it for me because, uh, yeah, okay, Heat Slater, regular one man band. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, yeah, I, you know, here's the thing I respect people enough to where, um, look, being an artist is very tough. Uh, and I, you know, if anybody's gonna do this for me, I would wanna make sure that they're compensated appropriately. Because, uh, that, you know, people, you know, an artist's time should be respected because what they do is a lot of hard work. And fuck, God, ugh. Yeah, but Zandal, yeah. Like I said, it's not, it's not too bad. It's, uh, it's just sometimes, uh, especially, you know, since I, you know, I'm not, you know, I don't do this for a living. I don't know this stuff, uh... I'm not as well versed in how to, um, like, you know, like when I make my title cards and edit videos and stuff, I'm not, I'm not as quick as somebody who's, you know, who, who knows what they're doing pretty much. Uh, so it just, uh, especially sometimes like during these weekends, uh, it just, it takes a lot of time, uh, <laughs> getting everything together. Fucking hell. Ugh. Yeah, actually, uh, yeah, so, uh, like I said, so I do, uh, so I do all the editing and everything, and then, of course, uh, putting stuff on YouTube, make sure it has the appropriate tags, all that good stuff, that also, that, that takes time, you know, making sure that uploads go up correctly and all that stuff, so yeah, it's, it's, like I said, it's, it's a labor of love, I do this because I enjoy it, uh, like I said, I'm not, uh, 
the, the, no mortgage payments or car payments have been covered by this stream thus far. I'm actually, I'm, <laughs> I'm very much in the hole. <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, so I know I talked about, I know I talked about earlier about going to the cider cake or whatever. So for those of you who do drink, uh, what is your drink of choice? Do you guys like cider at all? Um, I mean, uh, or are you, are you all pretty much beer or liquor people? You don't drink? So you're the same as me? If I drink, you prefer a good glass of wine? Same, I don't drink, yeah. So, uh... G Fuel. <laughs> or Bangs, yeah. When I, uh, so, I used to drink a lot of energy drinks, and I cut that, I cut that out because I felt like, um... It's not that it was getting out of control or anything by any means. It's just uh, I just I felt like I was drinking them too much, so I so I cut it out. I, I have one occasionally. Um, I like the monster, the the white monsters, because uh, they taste like lemonade. Oh, uh, great nineteen eighty two. Yeah, I so I jo uh, so. Uh, I always joke around with people. I, I just said, uh, I, uh, so I'm straight edge minus the angry rock music. But yeah, uh, so I am Muslim. I choose not to drink um, as part of my religion. And trust me, I know plenty of Muslims that drink. So uh, I'm not, you know, I mean, I'm not going to play the holier than thou card. And then I, 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 I don't smoke and I don't have any desire to do drugs. So yeah, I'm straight edge. You had one 10 years ago and ended up in the hospital? Eee! Only thing I can say is, ooh! <laughs> Yeah, the T rehab monsters aren't too bad, but like I said, even even then, I've 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 cut down on them significantly. Uh, I just I enjoy my coffee. Um, that's about it. That's that's the that's the most that I do now. You see, on Rockstars, the so here's the thing. The uh, I don't know what it is, but like the Rockstars always leave me with like a dry mouth. It's it, it's like it feels like I'm drinking. Uh, like baby powder or something like that. I don't know what it is. Like my mouth always feels like, like I said, it feels powdery afterwards. I don't know what it is. It's just always, uh, I just, I have dry mouth. Yeah, Zan, yeah. So like I said, it's like with me and the energy drinks, it was pretty much, uh, I would, uh, so part of it used to be my very, 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 very long commute that I had in my old job. So I know I've talked about working from home for the last, you know, for the last year, which has been awesome. Uh, I love my commute. I wake up from my bedroom, I walk, you know, 20, 30 feet to this room, and then I work. And then when I'm done, I walk outside this door, walk outside the door, and I'm done, uh, you know. But um, when I worked at American Airlines... I literally, like, I drove 40 or 50 miles, I forget what it is, it was like 46 point something, but you see with traffic, 
Uh, it would take me 45 minutes to an hour to drive to work in the morning, and then it would take me an hour and a half, uh, an hour to an hour and a half minimum coming home. So, uh, you know, just the, just the tiredness of sitting in my fucking car all day. Uh, you know, like, I would go to, I would stop at 7-Eleven in the morning, and I would, you know, like, they would typically have, like, the two, the two monsters for three bucks deal, or they would have the three for four fifty, but I would get I would get one of those. I would have I, I would usually stop and get breakfast as well. But I would uh, I would have that, and then sometimes I would have like the cup of coffee as well with, with you know with whatever breakfast item that there was. But yeah, I would I would I would I would enjoy a monster plus the plus a coffee more usually, and then I would drink like I said. So I would have that on the way to work. And then that would be like at 6, 6.30 in the morning. And then I would have, uh, and then uh, when I got to work, I would have another one of the, mo I would have another one of the monsters around 9 to, 9 to 10 o'clock. And then when I got to work, we, you know, we'd have pots of coffee. So I usually have like a pot of coffee on top of that as well. So it was, Devesh, good morning. Yeah, so just, it was, uh, it was just getting to be way too much. And I was just like, I was like, yeah, I need to cut this out, you know. And I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't that I felt like, uh, like my heart was racing or that I wasn't feeling well or whatever. It's just, you know, like I thought about it and I was just like, you know, I was like two or three cups of coffee plus two monsters all before, all before noon. I was like, that's way, way too much. So I cut it out and I just have my cup of coffee in the morning, maybe two, and then that's it. See what I'm up up to. Thirty-five more Oscar battles to do. I got about two hours to do it. Oh man. Starting to feel that gamer lag coming in right here. <laughs> I can't believe I've been on for two and a half hours already and it's not it's not even nine o'clock. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, Budnick, I forgot to mention this. Uh so I did start Jungle Cruise. I have I only got about ten minutes into it uh, before I had to leave, and I had, that was like a week ago. But uh, the the ten minutes of it I did watch. Uh, I did enjoy it very much. Gamer Grub. Oh yeah. So there's a. This isn't as well known as uh, you know as Fries was, I guess, before they closed down. Um, have y'all heard of, uh, have y'all heard of Micro Center at all? So if you have, cool, if you haven't, Micro Center is basically, think of, think of like a Best Buy but smaller, and they... Focus more on selling computer parts and stuff than uh, TVs and whatnot, and uh, like they have, uh, you know, they have the, you know, the, you know, like they have like the balls energy and uh, the other various gamer stuff, and of course, like they, they have like those, sh you know, they have the they have they have those shirts that are like you know. Trust me, I'm an engineer, and blah 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 blah. You know, like like those kind of shirts, 
So uh, I, yeah, I've seen the I've seen the gamer grub and the gamer fuel and whatnot over there. I, I still I go there occasionally. Every once in a while, they have a pretty good sale on uh, on what I need. But not a, it's not a, it's not an everyday hangout. It's, it's not that far away from me, but it's not, it, it's also, it's not close enough to where, uh, you know, I could just like hop over and kill time if I wanted to. Used to buy blank DVD and CDs there. Yeah, I used to... That's actually the very first time that I ever went to a Fry's. It was to buy... It, it was to buy uh, blank DVDs because they had a deal where you could get 50 blank DVDs for 50 bucks. And it was the best deal around to get those DVDs at a dollar each. And then, yeah, and then I've been at Micro Center for that before, too. Also, uh, their surge protectors, whenever they're on sale for, like, five bucks or whatever, is a hell of a deal. And also, they're super, super cheap uh, flash drives and everything. Like, they may not be the best quality, but damn it, I would like to see somebody else... Uh, Selling a uh, like a like a 64 gig uh, flash drive for like 10 bucks. Fish can't. Uh, what the the 50 the 50 for 50 deal? It was like when I was in high school, so we're talking like the 2000. Like, so I graduated high school in 2002. So I mean, whenever I went to get the 50 DVDs for 50 dollars, it was probably it was like either 2000, 2001, 2002, something like that. Yeah, actually, you know, one of the funny things, one of the first times that I ever went to Micro Center, so when I was in college, one of my one of my professors required us to have a flash drive. So I went to I went to Micro Center because they had a 32 megabyte flash drive on sale for twenty dollars, and again, that was the cheapest one that I could get. I actually, I still have it somewhere, and every once in a while I find it, and I'm like, oh yeah, I still have this. I keep it around mostly as a, you know, as a joke now. But yeah, 32 megabytes for, for 20 bucks, or it was either 20 or 30, and I was happy to have it. The 128 gig for 10 bucks, yeah. I forget how much Micro Centers is now. Um, micro So let's say their 256 is twenty two dollars. Their sixteen gig is four fifty. Their sixty four gig is seven dollars, and their one twenty eight is eleven ninety nine. All right, um, I would like to take another bathroom break, um, and also I just need to get up and stretch my legs. Uh, I'll be back in about five minutes, I guess. So, let's see, right, 2, 43. All right, see you all in a few. I'll be right, like I said, I'll be right back. Brygap, thank you very much for the host, sir. Thank you very much, Sensei. Yeah, walking around just, uh, like I said, stretching my legs. Felt very, very good. <laughs> yeah, Bri Gab. So, uh, I got about... It's it's uh, 8.30 in the morning here in Dallas. I got about uh, an hour and a half until I gotta go start getting ready and whatnot. Is there a guy to help with leveling your roster? Maybe the most efficient way. Um, 
she called off today, so it's good. Hey, that, hey, that's pretty good. And just... Look, I, I, like I've said, I enjoy spending time with my wife and my kid. You know, and family time, so... that That's pretty awesome. So there we go with that. Um... Yeah, so Scullin, yeah, I, I do highly recommend, like, ask, asking your, um, oh, uh, here we go, uh, oh no, actually, uh, where the hell is my Discord server? Hold on, it's, there's gotta be an automated message here somewhere, yeah, here we go. There we go, it wasn't available before, there it is. Um, if you feel, I, I know, uh, Scott, I know you've said before that, um, that your, that your faction doesn't, you know, kind of, it doesn't feud as much as you'd like to, but this is, I know this is 100% very general, Okay, before I begin, but um, obviously, like sometimes you're limited by who you have in your roster. Trust me, we were all at that point. I didn't always have the roster that I have, but typically, kind of like take a look at the Twilight Bats, uh, you know, at the Twilight Bats tier list, and take a look at the at the Haven tier list, which I recommend, and I'm a contributing member of. Um, but, uh, generally, like I said, look at the tier list, pick who, pick who your best character is, and do, uh, focus on one person per class, and one woman. And what, I, what I mean by that is, uh, Elvin, good morning. Yeah, I'm just like I've already maxed day two. Well, like two hours. Like, let's see, I've been on for almost three hours. I maxed I maxed day two like two hours and forty minutes ago or something like that. Uh, yeah, I'm cleaning up, but yeah, but getting back. Um, so focus on an acrobat. Focus on a striker. Focus on a tech. Focus on a showboat. Focus on a trickster, and focus on a powerhouse. So uh, what you can do is dedicate a month on these on these events to, to doing that, and then once you have that built up, oh yeah, and, and also don't forget how how you know like sometimes people sleep on having a a good female person. Um, you really you can't do that. You have to have a good female character as well. It's invaluable at this point. I mean, take a look at this. Uh, last night with Icons of WrestleMania, Charlotte, I steamrolled everybody yeah so like I said so, th so that being said um, focus on that and then once you get done with that try to tr go go uh, go on uh, move on to the eras okay so by that, what I mean is, I was like, okay, so let's just say, let's just say, you know, you wave a magic wand, you have, you know, you have a good character in, you know, in, in showboat and powerhouse and all that stuff, right? So then make sure you go through and you have a good attitude era person, you have a good modern era person, you have a good, um, you know, you, you have a good character in each of the eras. And then once you do that, and then you go into like, okay, well, do I have a good striker attitude era? Do I have a good tech, you know, attitude era? Do I have a good powerhouse attitude era? And so on and so on and so on. So, and I mean, like, and trust me, I, I know I'm, I know I'm giving you very general things to say, and trust me, I, I get it. Whether you're paying, you know, it, whether you're whether you're paying, you know, whether you're doing paid pulls or you're doing free to play, it takes time. There, you know, like there's there's no shortcut to it, you know. Um, but that would be that's generally the best advice that I can give. Um, and then definitely um, 
in in events that you can grind stuff out, it may suck, but do it. Um, let's see, 25 more left. Ugh. But um, events where you can grind stuff out, do it. Because I mean, like like right here. Um, I mean, as you can see, I don't have the highest Charlotte, uh, the, I don't have, not Charlotte, of course I have a high Charlotte, I have a five-star silver Charlotte, but you see, like, Asuka and Becky may not be that at its highest, but they're built up enough to where I can grind out these matches, so they, they, that really helps out. Yeah, on Charlotte, I wasn't even running an MP trainer. I just had I have both Darren Young and Sami Zayn on her. Uh, uh, on her. The only thing that sucks is uh, Darren's not uh, 5K yet, so he's not doing. So I, I mean, like I could be I could be booting people in the face just a little bit stronger, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll see if I feel like doing that or not. Yeah, I have the honky plate on her too, so uh, I yeah I've been str I've been st strategic with it. I mean, even even without Darren Young being at 5k, I'm still doing 400 to 500k a pop, depending on what their defense is. So I mean, it's a uh, it's kind of a moot point. Worst, the absolute worst match that I had went to went to round three. Yeah, and like I said, and I was being, uh, and I didn't want to change and put a, uh, good morning, Soupster. Yeah, I, uh, what is it, so 24 matches now left with Asuka, and then I'm gonna clean up Bailey, and then switch to double Sasha, and max this fucking thing, and get it over with. Not the, not, not max the milestones, but max the, uh, max the, the, the grinding, or whatever. Uh, maybe not, uh, I don't know about this TU, but I I'll do it eventually. I'm not, I'm not, uh, hurting or jumping at the bit to, to move them up. Yeah, you, you get, yeah, see, so you can, so you can, unlike some of the other events, you can double up. So, like, if you were to put Zombie Sasha and Showboat Sasha or whatever, then you'll you'll get credit for two Sashas, not just one. So that's why you see me doing Sasha. Uh, so, um, the reason why I'm not doing double, so double Asuka right now is... Uh, Housekeeper actually brought this up. So, I... My... Uh, so... My tech Becky and my showboat Becky aren't at a point where I can double up on them very well. So I'm doing Asuka first because she needs 150 anyway. And I already had a bunch ready with her and uh, Sasha earlier. But what I'm going to do is when I get to... When I max out Asuka, I'm only going to have six more left with Becky. So I'll switch to Sasha at that point. And then once I get the six matches done, then I'm going to switch up. Then I'm going to do double Sasha and hopefully get this all done by 10 o'clock. So I got an hour and 20 minutes to do this. And of course, if the game keeps giving the AI cascade, it's going to be that much longer. Yeah, bro, yeah, yeah I, I saw your grind yesterday. Yeah, it just, I don't have a good Sasha, unfortunately, so, uh, well, I sorry, I take that back. Um, I do have a good Sasha, the, the striker one. Uh, I just, uh, I don't have a good Becky, like I said, so that's, that's kind of holding me back right now. And also, like, just last night, I got tired of playing, so I just, like, I stopped it, and I was like, fuck it, I'll just play it today. Yeah. 
Yeah, as much as uh, as much as I play this game, I even I have my limits. At certain points, I'm just like, yeah, that's it. Just I'm done. Done for the day. Yeah, now that I'm close to Batista, I'm gonna start working on Mach. Uh, hey, look at this! Look, Budnick, you're right there! Look at that! <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna do that. Trust me, I I I, I, want, I want to just get. I'm I'm grinding out these victories. I'm going for the easy one so that also I help people out and. They can revenge on me, too. Yeah, trust me, it's, uh... If y'all ever wonder, the reason why I just... I only go after the easy victories here is just because, uh... Look, you know, 300 and something matches is a long time, even if you're doubling up. And, uh, I, uh, I mean, like, I could, like, I could bust out Charlotte and do it the long way, or I can just take on the easy folks and get it done much quicker. So, uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go quantity over quality. Yeah, well, it's also, it wasn't, was it fucking... 400 matches with Kofi Kingston anyway that that was the worst and especially when I had to do it with showboat Kofi Ooh. On top of the other bonus matches Ooh. Oh, yeah, I maxed that damn event and Get you know, you know what I got I didn't even get doink out of it Katie Angelo, good morning. Yeah, I did end up being like 60th in that event or whatever, but... Ooh, that sucked. Oh man, that sucked, it sucked, it sucked. And you know what's funny is that they make these balls. Yeah, yeah, they, uh. Good morning, M. Jackson. Yeah, and the funny thing, too, is that, you know, it's like. They, you know, like, they, they make. You know, it's like they do this in the 350 matches, and everybody's like, ah, that sucks. 350 matches. I'm not going to do that. And then, of course, wake up at 5 o'clock in the fucking morning <laughs> to do 350 matches. <laughs> The thing was so it went ham on the money in the bank blitzes instead. And guess what? Yeah, I no no no. I saw you got doink. Yeah, yeah. I what is that? I I said I was like eh, I don't feel like doing them, but then I was just like eh, whatever. Hey, Kid Kelly. Good morning. Uh, congratulations on getting them. Like, you know, here's the thing. Um, like I told y'all, I don't I like. I, Sometimes you get the character, sometimes you don't. I personally don't have good RNG luck with getting people from bags, but... Eh. Again, I'm not gonna sit here and whine and cry and moan that, Oh man, I didn't get this character. I don't... I don't care, whatever. But like I said, it does suck whenever you put in that much time and you don't get them, but meh. Yeah, well, like, yeah, well, I mean, Housekeeper, I mean, like, uh... I think, uh, what is it? It's... 
the problem is, is that like they're still achievable, which I think is the reason why people do them. Because I mean, like four hundred matches sucks. It sucks. It really does. But I mean, y'all saw me stream for like what two? You know, like what is it? I was like on for like two, two and a half hours yesterday, and I got done with that one, and then I'm doing another three this morning. And I'm, I'll admit, like I said, I didn't play. I didn't do very much off stream. I played maybe another. 45 minutes to an hour, but here we go. I'm 19 away now after three hours. So, I mean, like, you know, some people are willing to put that time in and do it. So, what can I say? Yeah, and the, yeah, and the thing I like about it, look, here's the thing in, in, in rank, in, in ranking of like what I like to do in this game, um, is I like, I like showdowns the most. Uh, and then, uh, I would say it's, yeah, Showdowns, and then, uh, probably Feuds after that, and Blitz is least. But, like, I don't know, I, I like Blitz the least, only because, like, uh, maxing it is always a pain, and, like, I always have to get on to people about, about doing Blitzes. Oh, good morning. Huh? What do you mean? About it. You yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Uh, Y'all, excuse me for just a moment. The little one woke up. I'm gonna go get him a bottle of milk. But it'll just be it'll just be one sec. Uh -huh. Bonish Bozi kind of guess I guess that Okay, just catching up on this. Yeah, I look here's the thing. I think uh like I enjoy feuding, don't get me wrong. But yeah, I it just SD is the is the is the more fun of it. But yeah, like I but I housekeeper, I, I do agree with you that um in feud Given the time, you can grind it out with with SD. You you hit a wall and that's it. The you know like you, you can't uh, you can't uh, you know like you you can't you can't max a showdown just through grinding.
Yeah, I like the yeah, but I do I, I do like the uh, the amount of coins and stuff that they give you in uh, in that. Yeah, I did. Uh, I know. I look. I, I know the sentiment shared by a bunch of people. I wasn't very happy about the the magical war score steps that they gave away in the shop. Uh, I know. Uh, here's the thing. I wasn't gonna. I mean, I wasn't going for top ten or anything like that myself anyway. So it doesn't. You know, it's it's a moot point for me. But uh, for those of you out there that that do that, like uh, like you know, like a housekeeper or like a two bob, uh, oh, camera's out of. Oh, you know, every single time I adjust this, and then every single time it, you know, like it 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 changes my settings. So thanks for the heads up on that. There we go, better. Yep, all right, thank you for the heads up. The thing is that on my, so on my OBS, it's such a, it's like, it's such a small screen, you know, like, because I have, uh, like, if, for anybody who didn't know, by the way, if you see me look over to the left a lot, it's because, uh, it's because my, my uh, chat's, chat's on the left screen, and then, you know, my game and my camera are here. Uh, the, uh, but yeah, the, that, that hundred percent boost thing, like that was, uh, I, here's the thing, like, you know, like I think it, look, I, when I, when I think about these things, I think about them like as, as a whole, you know, and not just, not just a per single person sort of thing. Um, like uh, TW, like he's not here right now, but TWS no pain. Um, like on the Bobby Lashley showdown, like that dude feud, uh, you know, did showdown for 24 hours straight. You know, to 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 be the top. You know, it's like to 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 be in first place to get Bobby Lashley. And then you know what do they do? Two to three hours before the event ends. Oh hey, by the way, buy these packs and you can boost your score. And I was just like, well, you know what? Like that's if you had them at the beginning, then fine, fair game. But if you're going to introduce that right right before the contest ends, that was so unfair to you know to, to people who basically who like who who are feuding uh, or not feuding but doing showdown the entire you know from start to finish. Feroz, bachi, hey, at the show up now. Yeah, uh, yeah, Gearoid. Yeah, like that's the thing with me. I, uh, I again, like I said, was I was I in contention to be in? Uh, you know, was I in contention to 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 be in top ten and that knocked me out? No, but still, I wasn't very happy for all of y'all and that happened. But you know, I mean, again, like I said, if you're gonna introduce stuff like that, have it from the beginning. Don't don't do it last minute. Feroz, no. Sorry, it was leaking milk on the floor. Oh yeah, what was it? He, uh... <laughs> That's one of the other things about keeping an eye on him is uh, he does he likes throwing stuff on the floor. What can I say? <laughs> Hello. 
I mean, obviously, I don't want them to break anything. I mean, it's a plastic trash bin. It's it's some of the bigger and heavier stuff that he's able to to some. He's able to somehow uh, to pull. I don't. Uh, you know, it's like I don't want him to hurt himself. At yeah, first, first and foremost, I don't want him to get hurt. Second, I don't want him to break it. Average gamer man. Um, I I saw I saw like a what is it like a headline where it's like you know, Ric Flair is a is confirmed AEW bound or whatever. But hey. here's the thing. At this point, yeah, I honestly I you know Ric Flair at this point in his career it doesn't matter. I mean I'm sorry it just it really doesn't. Yeah, and I didn't watch Triple Mania last night, so I don't know if anything happened with 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 that. By the way, I'm just going to pause the music for just a second. So, Scon Since he made the reference, it's all about the money. This is a tech donation for $65. It's all about the money. <laughs> this is a tech donation for $38. Ah, so there we go. It's all about the money. <laughs> Yeah, one of the things, like, if I'm not able to catch a pay-per-view live, I just stay off of social media, period, until I'm able to watch it. Unless I don't, unless I don't particularly care about, uh, the, uh, the event or what's going on. And then I'm like, eh, whatever, I don't care. That's better. Yeah, I wasn't planning on watching Triple Mania anyway. Um, but I mean, it's one of those things. I guess uh, I don't. I, I don't know. I haven't. I, I got up this morning. I like. I made coffee. Uh, you know, and uh, went. You know, and everything. And then I just started my stream. So I haven't. I haven't looked at Facebook, Reddit, squared, you know, the squared circle, subreddit, or anything like that. I don't know. Look, here's the thing. I like AEW as well as WWE. Uh, so what... Uh, you know, like, I know Vince has used this analogy before and Cornette said it. Look, some people like chocolate, some people like vanilla, right? You can't spend all of your time focused on, you know, uh, you know, on trying to get people to like both. Because, you know, you're not going to, you're never going to have anybody who likes both. The, um, I think that competition is good. Uh, because here's the thing, you know, most of us, you know, like, I, okay, I'm not going to say all of us because some of us are newer fans, some of us are older fans, but look, there are a lot of people who became fans of wrestling during the Attitude Era, right? And why did the Attitude Era happen? Because WCW was kicking the WWE's ass and they had to do something to, uh, 
they had to do something to you know to to to, to compete um uh you know uh but like i said that's uh i i think competition's good because it, it's for a variety of reasons um uh, like i said i think that comp i think competition uh is like i said it's good because it makes a better product overall and also it so it's not it's not in this okay so i mean obviously i don't care what what how much money somebody makes or doesn't make but uh that being said when you have alternatives available for people it you know it it, it gives leverage to wrestlers that wasn't there before and i mean like hell uh you t you know it's like if you want to parallel to it you know in the real world uh take a look at what's happening now uh, traditional jobs that people did for like, you know, seven bucks an hour. Now, you know, it's like, uh, they can't find anybody, you know, jobs that used to be minimum wage are now paying like 15 bucks an hour. Why? Because there's way more competition because of COVID and the way the world is right now. Um, same thing with the wrestling world. Chief. Oh, point up. Um, so I mean like that, that's good, you know, uh, the, so the one thing that I'll, the, so there are a couple things that I'll say, uh, about, yeah, so the one thing I will say about AEW though, that it, that like, isn't as good as the WWE. Um, I think the overall presentation of a show isn't as good in AEW as it is in W as it is in WWE. And by what I mean by that is, um, you know, when you're t I'm talking about production and music. Because here's the thing, like, I watch an AEW show, and for whatever reason, it sounds like you're listening to it, like, underneath a blanket. And other than, other than when Jericho comes out to Judas, like, it just, everything sounds muffled. And I don't know if y'all agree with me on that or not, but that's, uh, that's just an observation. And then, um, the WWE has a, uh... Yeah, I, and don't get me wrong, Judas is a great song, I'm not saying it isn't, but, you know, like, when other, you know, like, people come out to, I don't know how to say, like, I'm, I'm not discounting people, but I mean, like, it's kind of like, you know, like, we're talking about the WCW stuff, I mean, people come out to generic, to, to me, generic music, and it sounds muffled on top of that, too. And then, um... Their women's division isn't as good as the WWE's. So that's that's like I said that that's that's my that that's my take on it. So like whether people agree with me on that is you know it, it, you know it's that and then um Now, like I said, that's that's up to the individual person whether they want to whether they want to agree with that or not agree with it. But that's that's just my that's just my look on it. And I know some people like uh, some snarky people are like, well, you know, the only reason why WWE fans defend the product is because it's been shit for so long that they're conditioned to like stuff like that. No, when the WWE does something good, I enjoy it. When they don't, I don't like it. I've been watching wrestling for thirty years now. And I know what I like and I know what I don't like. But yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, you know, it's, you know, it, you know, like I said, it's that. And then, you know, I mean, I know people are going to make the, oh, you know, like I said, uh, you know, all their, all their top people are this and that, you know.
Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. By the way, that's a, yeah, that's something that that is a that is a very, very very good thing. Yeah, because here's the thing. Like, uh, I you know I I hate to bring it up for the one million eight hundred and seventy six thousandth time, but you know between being married and having a kid, I don't have I, I don't have all the time in the world to watch wrestling anymore. You know, there used to be a time, you know, like when I was in college or when I was in high school, if I could watch, you know, if I had access to, if I had access to this many hours of wrestling, dude, I would have been in heaven, but I don't, you know, I don't have that time. And I can't watch, you know, seven, eight, nine hours of WWE and, you know, watch you know, the AEW Dark and AEW Dynamite and Impact. By the way, Ricky Starks was uh, Ricky Starks is a uh, is a wrestler. Uh, he's he's a local wrestler. Uh, he's actually he was based in Austin uh, and uh, wrestled in uh, Dallas quite a bit. And I really enjoyed it. By the way, uh, excuse your screen. This is whatever for whatever reason Oscar's uh, Oscar's uh, costume does this. So yeah. Um, yeah, Ricky Starks is awesome. I absolutely love it. He's a fantastic wrestler. I'm very happy that he got uh, that he got exposure through NWA Power and now on AEW. Genuinely funny, a super nice dude. I really like him a lot, and, uh, you know, him and Sammy, I am so happy with that. Like I said, I'm genuinely happy for him. Yeah, and, uh, you know, like, the one thing that, you know, you also have to remember with WWE, uh, oh, seven matches left, ugh, thank God. Um... I think they, I, I, look, here's the thing, I think all the wrestling companies have way more people than they actually need, okay, uh, this is just a personal take, with how much, with how much time that they have, uh, it, it's, so I know I'm gonna probably sound hypocritical by saying this, but, you know, it's not easy having, you know, a roster of, you know, like a hundred people, and then expecting every single one of them to have a full storyline and exposure on, you know, on a program. Every, you know, like every, every program, every this, every that, you know, that, that's, that's, I mean, I'm not, is it impossible? No. Is it hard? Very much so. Um, so that's, like I said, that's, that's just my, you know, that, that's my, that, that's my take uh, on that, uh. I, I also think that AEW is guilty of that. I think that uh, they have way too many people. Um, and sure, like, you know... Uh, you know, like, yeah, you know, it's like... Brit, you know, like, Britt Baker and, you know, and other people are gonna have... You know, uh, are gonna have time, but... I mean, as a whole... You know, like, I... Like, okay, like, for example... I went to the I went to the Dynamite show that was in Garland uh, a couple weeks ago, right? They had the Lucha Brothers on 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 the dark match, you know, on the AEW Dark, and a bunch of people left. <laughs> there we go. 
There you go, Supercard Chemo right there. text about the plans for later today yeah i love me some sammy Guevara. one of my favorite photos is him holding a zonked out little 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 uh, little kid uh let me see if i can find it real quick in the background Okay, no. Uh, Alright, I'm just going to do this in the background. Don't pay attention to me. Alright. Uh, shams. Photos. Albums. Photos. Wrestlers I've met. Add a photo. I think this would be easier, but considering I have thousands of photos of my kid, it's kind of hard, but... short break here to make sure that I get this on time. Oops, need to claim that too. Of course, whenever I want to, whenever, whenever I want to see something, I can't find it easily. Here we go. All right, so I know where it is. Okay, here we go. Okay, and then. All right. Okay, we got this. That photo is bam. There we go. I click claim. What the hell? Okay. Uh, let's see. 
So this is one of my favorite photos ever. If you want to load, please. Please and thank you. Actually help if I click the upload button, wouldn't it? Oh, that's actually that's not Darby. Uh, this is this is unholy Gregory uh, Gregory James. So he actually was on AEW a couple weeks ago as Izzy James. But yeah, that's that's not Darby Allen. Please be here, for fuck's sake. Come on, I want to show this. Yeah, there we go. This is my favorite wrestling photo that I have right here. So this is Sammy's very last match in VIP Wrestling. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, I, I know. Somebody else made that mention yesterday, too. This is Sammy's very last match in VIP Wrestling before he left for AEW. That's Mrs. Sheik right there. That's me. And that's a zonked out... Uh, baby chic right there. And also, you can't tell, but his, uh, his onesie there said future wrestling star. <laughs> but yeah, he came out to an indie show with us, zonked out completely. <laughs> yeah, that's one of, like I said, that's one of my favorite, that's... That's one of my favorites, if not the favorite, wrestling, uh, wrestling photo I have. Okay, well, it looks like it got frozen there. Oh yeah, it's gone. Yeah, I, I, I've met, I've met dozens of wrestlers over the years. I go to a lot of, uh, I go to a lot of, uh, I go to a fair amount of indie shows, and then um, if there's an autograph thing that I can get to, uh, I go to them. So, like, the, the first, uh, it's like the first two times I met Chris Jer Actually, I take that back. All three times I met Chris Jericho. Once was at a car show. Once was at a, at a record thing for his Fozzie album. And then the third time was at a book signing for when, uh, his second book came out. Let me just double check one thing real quick before we keep going. Because I don't want to do any more matches than I need to. Four more with Asuka and I'm done. Thank God. Randy Savage and Hot Rod. Yeah, unfortunately I can't say I met either of them either. Yeah, one of the main reasons why I... I mean, look, I like wrestling, obviously. But one of the big reasons why I try to make it a point to go to these shows and whatnot. So, a long, long time ago... I... Stephen Lynch... And, um... Why am I blanking? Mitch Hedberg... We're doing a show together here in Dallas. And I blew it off and I was just like, eh, I'll go next time. And in the eh, next time, Mitch Hedberg overdosed like three weeks later, a month later, two months later. And now I'm never going to get to see him perform live, ever. And... Since then, I've kind of told myself, like, look, you know, if you can feasibly do it, then go for it. Uh, you know, I've said this before, life's short. You know, I'm going to, I want to enjoy myself while I'm, you know, while I'm still living. Um, I'm not going to, now, I'm not going to do something stupid like max out my credit cards and spend every dollar to go to a concert or something like that. But if something's feasibly within my reach, why not? 
So when it comes to like, you know, like going to Autorama or whatever, I mean, sure, you know, I have to stay, you know, I have to sit in line for, you know, like an hour or two and pay like, you know, 15 bucks to get in or whatever. But, you know, I, you know, uh, you know, I met Shawn Michaels, I met Chris Jericho, I met Edge, you know, how many, how many, how many people can say they've done that? Daniel Bryan, that's another one. So, you know, like, that, you know, like, that, uh, you know, like, being able to have those experiences was very special for me. The little one's whining in the background, as you can tell. Yeah, I haven't been to concerts, and not just because of COVID. I haven't been to a concert in a very long time. The last time was, uh, I don't know if y'all, I, look, I, I'm not I'm not as hardcore into in electronica as I used to be, but I went to, um, I, I really like this one artist named Rusko, and I want a contest, I want a social media contest to do a meet and greet with them. And as part of it, I got a free ticket to a show, and that's the last, like, concert that I've been to. Um, and Zandal, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I, 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 I have met DDP before, very, very briefly. Uh, so when uh, Jake Roberts' documentary came out, uh, they had a screening of it, and I'd met him before. Uh, he comes out to our local indies every once in a while. So I, I've met him once or twice in the past, and uh, but yeah, but DDP was there, so I did get to meet him briefly. And Tensei, you have a friend who didn't like to do things, go places, and then got lung cancer and has leg amputated, recovered, now he travels everywhere, enjoys life to the fullest. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, okay. So I'm obviously very, I'm not happy to hear that he got lung cancer and had a leg amputated, but I'm very happy he recovered. And yeah, like I said. Uh, it's, uh, you know, like, look, life's short, uh, and, and again, like, I, I don't mean to keep harping on this, like, you know, I mean, I do say, like, do it, be reasonable with your requests, you know, um, like, there are some people who are, like, you know, who, like, you know, will spend, you know, like, who don't plan for the future and spend every dollar they have just to have experiences, okay, yeah, that's fine, you know, I'm not saying that you shouldn't, but, you know, um, I'm also, like I said, I'm not gonna live like a derelict just to go out and buy shit or do shit, you know, and I'm not gonna abandon my wife and my kid, you know, just to, oh man, I wanna go see the world, you know, some people are like that, I'm not advocating that at all, but, um, you know, like, yeah, it's just, you know, like, don't put it off, you know, like, like, enjoy yourself, because you never know what tomorrow's gonna bring you. Doesn't hurt that he is a successful lawyer, oh yeah. That, yeah, that absolutely does not hurt at all. No, I, uh... I don't know if I ever told this before, but, uh... I, I did have, uh, I, you know, I, I, look, I like the law, I like arguing. I thought that it would have been, I thought it would have been cool to be a lawyer. And if I ever did go to law school, I joked around that I was going to be one of those uh, that I, you know, like, you know, like an ambulance chaser and, of sorts. And I also had my own catchphrase. So, uh, this is what my tagline was going to be. So, you know, those, you know, you know, those TV, uh, you know, those, those TV lawyers or whatever, you know, where you see them advertise on like Jerry Springer and whatnot. So mine was going to be, you know, injured on the job, hit by a drunk driver, hire Shams Bayani, attorney at law. He'll declare a jihad on your case. <laughs> so yeah, very poor taste, of course, but yeah, that was going to be that was going to be my tagline in the in the in the commercials. Hey, we hit 150 with Asuka! Woo!
Yeah, I'm Jackson. Yeah, I think I think I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, no singing career, and uh, yeah, I know what is it? People were complaining to me the entire time about me ruining their electronics with my hot rap that one time. Swaggy. Good morning, and thank you for the host. All right, thank God Almighty. Asuka is done. Now we're going to finish off the last four matches with Becky. We're going to switch to double Sasha after that. Hopefully I'll be done with this damn thing soon enough. Yeah, imagine Walter or Keebler. Oh yeah, I can only imagine. Ugh. Going on four hours now. Oh yeah, by the way, Kid Kelly, did you get Keebler? I I, I haven't I haven't been lucky so far. My polls uh, my polls were not were not so good, and uh, the bags have not uh, been successful yet. Yeah, also having the having the showdown coins only count for 10 points each hasn't uh isn't really that helpful either. victory here. When can you get different sub badges? Uh, I can make some, I guess. I haven't, uh, I haven't actually... I don't know if making sub badges is going to be the same as making uh making emotes but I, I can look into it oh actually you have a first by there that's 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 one of the that's one of the ways but yeah i, I can uh yeah i mean there, there's there, there's nothing wrong with uh making some different I there, there are a couple things that I've been meaning to do uh, I did I saw I made like a I, I made a sheep hype and a sheep raid or she not sheep chic but uh, I need to I probably need to work on getting sub badges and a couple of other things I won for bits but not for but not for uh, for subs Yeah, I can probably, what is it, I can probably reuse the ones that I made for bits and uh, use that for subs and then use the, figure out a better, uh, figure out a better uh, bits one. But yeah, so for the bits, uh, I have, um, uh, what is it, I think like a, one level is the lime, uh, the lime sparkling water, then the next one is lemon, and then the final one is uh, pomegranate, or grapefruit. Or not, not pomegranate, pomplimousse, that's what I meant to say. But yeah, um, I'm going to actually. You know what? I'm gonna. I'll, I'll hit a hundred, and then I'm gonna take a bathroom break.
Let's see, so I got one more match and then bathroom break and then hopefully finish off the Sasha matches by doubling up in less than 30 minutes. Becky matches are done. Just Sasha left at this point. Oh, thank God. You know, this hasn't been as bad as I thought it was, but on the same token, four hours of, of showdown. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. 100 matches done. 150 Oscar matches done, and now we get to double up. There we go. All right, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to take a short bathroom break, and I will be right back. So, 354. All right, see you all in a few. Howdy, folks, I'm back. Hey, Swaggy. Swaggy. Thank you very much. I appreciate, as always, I appreciate y'all stopping by. And I hope you have a wonderful Sunday and that work isn't too stressful for you. Oh, yeah. Uh, Zandal, you're, are you still here or, uh, or no? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Zandal. Okay, so... Uh, of course, uh, oh, yeah, by the way, I did get my hair tied, so I feel a lot better. Um, so Merrix has said that, uh, you are a wrestler. Uh, do you have a specific match? Now, this is my own fault that I haven't, like, gone and looked for a match of yours, but is there a specific match that... Uh, is like on YouTube or something that you would say like, hey, if you want to check me out, this is the match to do. This is the match to see. You have one versus the hurricane, which is personally fave, as it is the first name that I work. All right, okay, that's cool. Is it on YouTube or anything for us to be able to look, uh, look uh, to watch it? Okay, cool. All right, by the way, links are allowed. Would you like to link it in chat? Would it be easier for me to do it if you're uh, if you're Oh yeah, no, no rush. I just, I would like to see you wrestle. Oh, excuse me for just a second.
All right, back before it loaded. Kendrick, good morning. Yeah, chic number one. If you find my 5SB fodder trade. I haven't actually seen you yet, Brygab. I, uh... What is it? I usually run in a housekeeper at least, you know, every single showdown, and I haven't yet, so, uh... I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully we'll see. I, look, I always like f catching friends of the stream on here. But, yeah. Hey, uh, Zandal, by the way, uh... Maybe not today because I'm kind of because uh, I'm pressed for time, unfortunately. But uh, do you think the promoter uh, w would you or the uh, old school championship wrestling people ever have a problem uh, with me showing it on uh, showing it on screen? Uh, not on screen, on stream is. Ugh. You got to remember, I'm working on very little sleep here. As in, no, it's all good. Like, trust me, I th I, th I think it'll be fun. Now it'll be cool. Okay, we'll do it sometime. Like I said, I unfortunately, like I said, it's uh, I'm not. I can't do it today, obviously, because uh, I got 20 minutes before I gotta go hop in the shower, get ready, and meet up with everybody. But uh, I would, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll 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 play it sometime during stream. Well, you know. Also have one with Tag versus the Hardy Boys protégés. Yeah, if you have a specific, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll check it out. Like I said, we'll have it, we'll have it, or uh, I could always. Um, <clears throat> I uh, what I might do is uh, if I have like a dedicated break period, instead of playing wrestling commercials, we'll have your, I'll have your, I'll have your matches on. But we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll 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 message you about it later. Okay, cool. Yeah, but like I said, we'll 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 we'll, we'll work it out. It's uh, it won't be you know, it won't be uh, too much of a of a thing. Hey, there's Cutthroat Moon. I recognize that name. Everyone knows the Dan Gable from Iowa. 142 pound Olympics. If you don't know the Grand Gable, you can ask Mr. Kurt Angle about the Dan Gable. Hey Zandal, I think he was being uh I think he was being sarcastic there. <laughs> That's the joke. Do you ever notice how men always leave the toilet seat up? That's the joke. <laughs> hey, you really suck, McBain. 
Ugh. And now for my Woody Allen, uh, Allen impression. I'm a neurotic nerd that really, that likes to sleep with little girls. Booch. <laughs> hey Zandal, by the way, if you can't do a triple moonsault, I'm going to think you're the worst wrestler in the world. <laughs> yeah, at least you're not Rey Mysterio, I'll tell you. Second worst wrestler in the world, how about that? <laughs> No, it was the it was a shooting star press, and uh, the story behind that is uh, that actually used to be his finisher when he re whenever he was in OE OVW, and they told him pretty much they're like, look, don't do it, uh, you know, unless you're, uh, you know, it's like like they basically they told him don't do it, like save that for special occasions. And the story behind the uh, him doing it at WrestleMania was, uh, you know, it was his first main event at WrestleMania, obviously. And uh, was it Jim Ross uh, told him, "Hey, you know, this is the big time, pal. You got, you know, like you're gonna have to bring, you know, like you have to bring that oomph, that little extra, you know, razzmatazz, whatever, to WrestleMania." And that's when he did it, and uh, that's when he landed on his head. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. Um... So... Hold on. Um... We'll be... Is it this one right here? Yeah, so I know this is kind of small. Um, but if you see here, this is on a dark match. So you see there, he, he hit it. No problem. Um, I think this is... There you go, you see that? Hit it perfectly. Yeah, I don't know about, yeah, I don't know about Kurt Angle, you know, if it was Kurt Angle, if it was Jim Ross, whatever, I mean, I, it's, I'm, I'm not dismissing it, I mean, obviously it's a moot point, he, he, he got hurt doing it, but, uh, yeah, that's, Kurt said it was Kurt's idea. You know, she wouldn't say who told her. Yeah. Again, I could be 100% wrong. Look, I'm, I'm, you know, I don't, I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I don't care, you know. Uh, I'm not going to even say, like, this is the absolute truth or defend it till the day I die. But my understanding is Jim Ross is the one that told him to do it. Oh, Kendrick, I want to take that back. Either that never got hurt or hurt someone doing it, because uh, what is it? Didn't um, didn't Billy Kidman crush some dude's face with it? Basically, Yeah, like I said, and then, you know, it's like, and then once they, once they, uh, pretty much when they saw him do it, like I said, at that point, they're like, no, 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 like, don't, like, you know, it's like, that's not your finisher, like, they wanted, they, they, 
they wanted that, that to be a special occasion thing, and of course the one time he did it as a special occasion, he fucked it up and uh, hurt himself pretty badly. Zandel, when you're saying you used to do it a lot in OVW, are you talking about yourself or uh, or Lesnar? We go watch Brock Lesnar. Yeah, that's the thing. I think he, uh, oh, yeah, I, <sighs> look, it's kind of hard to, you know, it's like, I know there's a lot of coulda, woulda, shouldas, and who did it, but yeah, I think it's, yeah, I think he, he hesitates, and he doesn't, he, he, uh, he kind of, like, he hesitates, and he doesn't, like, clutch himself enough to do the rotation until, like, the, and then I think he tried to overcompensate for it, and then that's when he landed on his head. Yeah, Zandal's a Zandal is a legit wrestler. He actually just shared a uh, shit. I of course I fucking closed it. There we go. Um, five tabs. Ah, oh, come on. Ugh. Yeah, Zandal is a legit wrestler. There you go. I'm just resharing the link that he sent me earlier. We will watch it on stream someday. Not today, unfortunately, because I, uh, I'm. The minutes are counting by. I got 11 minutes to finish this off before I gotta before I gotta cut it off. But yeah, Zandal is a wrestler. Yeah, I am looking forward to... Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Sid, uh... KBW Trampoline Wrestling. Is that the one with the kids? The, the Kids Federation thing that they did the documentary on? I know, what is it? I, I don't even know if it's still around or if it was Amazon or Netflix or whatever, but yeah, there was a. I remember there was like some kids' wrestling federation, and uh, basically, like, it was just a bunch of like, you know, 10, 12 year olds or whatever. And what happened was. Okay, then yeah, no, it's not the same thing, I think. But yeah, this was, uh, this was like something in the 80s, and basically, uh, they were. They, like, they actually put on shows and stuff. And then there was like some 16 year old that they that they hired because basically he had a car. And then uh, it just like it basically imploded after that. I forget what the exact circumstances are, but yeah, it's not the same thing. But yeah, I love me some Fuego del Sol. He was a regular at my local indie, which is VIP Wrestling in Dallas, Texas. Yeah, a lot of, like, not that I don't like the people that are in there right now. We got plenty of fantastic wrestlers. But, um, I miss, uh, like, I miss seeing Sammy and, uh, Ricky Starks. 
Singh, uh, Keith Lee, Raymond Rowe, a.k.a. Eric of the Viking Raiders, Sammy Guevara, Austin Theory. I mean, all of them were regulars in our, you know, in, in our uh, indie league. And now that they're in the big time, I don't get to see them, you know, up close and personal. Like, I like Sammy enough. I used to, like, for his birthday, like, I, I, bought, him, uh, I bought him a box of... Uh, protein bars and you know uh you know and it just, it's like small stuff like that like you know he'd go out of his way whenever he'd see us at shows if i didn't catch him first to say hi to me and my wife you know uh you don't get to you know you don't you don't get that at a wwe show do i know about mission pro wrestling okay look i know of it but i can't say i've uh i've watched a show All right, 79 out of 100. There we go. Yeah, most of my, like yeah, most of the wrestling I watch nowadays is uh, you know, it's just WWE and and AEW when I get a chance. I don't watch Impact, I don't watch ROH. Um although I do catch I do catch like the the big matches, like the ones that people are like Oh, you have to watch this, or oh, so and so insane thing happened. Also, uh, look, I I mostly don't like the comedy wrestlers, um, and I mean that in the sense that, um, like for example, I didn't like Santino. Um, I didn't like uh, the Bo Leave. but uh, I, I like I enjoy Colt Cabana quite a bit. And uh, I like Dan House, and I I look I look I love Dan House, and I don't know how y'all feel about him, but man, I love that dude. He he's he's great. He always puts a smile on my face whenever I see him wrestle, or I see an interview with him. And if you all don't know who Dan Housen is, uh, that's, uh, like, look, look him up. He is phenomenal. I enjoy him so, so much. WrestleCade will be in North Carolina this November. Ugh, I don't know about... Yeah. Look, here's the thing. I know, I know a certain wrestling personality has said funny doesn't equal money. Look, some... I don't know. It, it's one of those things. Like, look, comedy's subjective, just like wrestling is. There are some characters that I actually like that I think are funny. And I love comedy bits. But, you know, then there are others that just get on my nerves. Uh, so, like I said, Santino Morello was definitely one of them. I did not like Santino at all. And then, uh, I, like I said, I didn't care for... Um, I didn't care for Bo Leave. I, I mean, I just, you know, like I said, it just... Uh, I, I'm, I'm naming off certain things. Like, I, I didn't like... I, I did not like Zack Ryder, and I still don't like Zack Ryder. Yeah, our truth is consistently great. He's he he's quite funny. Like I said, uh, it's yeah, and it has nothing to do with like being good in the ring or whatever. But 
yeah, it's, yeah, that like, uh, it's just, uh, it's just like I said, it's just, it's, like I said, it's subjective. There are, there are certainly, there, like, there are comics out there that I love and comics out there that I absolutely cannot stand. Like, Bill Burr, I love Bill Burr. I think he's hilarious. Uh, Sarah Silverman, on the other hand, I cannot stand her at all. She is not funny. I don't know, but he seems to have, like, such a great relationship from, uh, or, I mean, he seems to have such a great relationship with, uh, Vince McMahon, so I don't see how, like, they would get away with, like, not treating him well, on a personal note. I don't know, like, Sarah Silverman, like, here's the thing, I, I mean, obviously, like, the Andy and Ollie from, I look, I love Bob's Burgers, so, I mean, like, those characters are fine, but, like, her stand-up to me is just super annoying uh it's just it's basically it's basically i am a woman and i'm using the word cock and that's funny because women don't say the word cock but i'm funny aren't i ha 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 fuck you Oh no, and I and I know what you mean, Sensei. Sometimes, like you know, uh, sometimes on the you know, it, you know, promos and things and you know, segments can be taken two different ways. So I I, I 100% understand where you're coming from. almost 10 o'clock so this will probably be my last match unfortunately i won't be maxing this out on stream but rest assured i will get this done uh well, actually let me see how many more matches are left i might i might turn I mean, instead of taking a 10 minute shower i might make it five i did take one last night so we'll uh we might speed it up a little bit we'll see Come on, quit breaking, quit breaking stuff. By the way, has Merrick's gotten on yet? He usually starts at ten. I mean, well, eight o'clock on him in his uh, on his timetable. Let's see, eighty-nine. So that's six more matches. Uh, I'll I'll I'll, I'll make it quick. We'll do so. We'll do. We'll do the six more matches, and then I gotta. Like I said, I gotta whoosh, bounce. Is he on? I didn't know he was on vacation. I. Uh, or you know, he did say he was going on. I just I didn't realize it was right now. If not, we'll find somebody else to. We'll find somebody else to raid. He did a last preview from the road. Okay, then yeah, he's probably not going to be on. Yeah, uh, yeah. As a side note, like I know, uh, I know, getting bad. Sometimes I get distracted and I quit talking. I start one thing and start another. Uh, I know I mentioned like Japan. I thought about like recording a bunch of stuff offline and then just putting it on YouTube, and you know, uh, maybe live streaming. Like I said, going to Akihabara and some of the other places. And then just like making character previews or doing polls ahead of time, and just slowly releasing them out. You know, the the week and a half that I was going to be out. But yeah, with me not going to Japan, that's not going to happen. But yeah, it's kind of. It, sometimes it sucks whenever you're a streamer and you know you take a vacation. I haven't taken one yet because of uh, everything going on. And plus, with my kids starting preschool, I don't think even if I take time off, it's just going to be staycations or weekend trips. But yeah. Uh, 
I hope Merrick's wherever you are. I hope you're having a fantastic time, dude. You and Mrs. Merrick's. Yeah, although uh, it's not going to happen like today or tomorrow or something, but there is a we want to we want to do a, a road trip up to Turner Falls in Oklahoma. So when that happens, that'll be one day that I'm going to skip streaming and uh, I'm going to go enjoy myself. That should be a very good time. The last road trip that we had was a lot of fun. We went up to uh, Natural Falls. That's uh, we went up to Natural Falls in Oklahoma, and uh, we uh, like so we all drove uh, and uh, got to see you know got to see nature, got to see the waterfalls and everything. It was absolutely beautiful. And then uh, came back home. Stopped at Bucky's and got a uh, <laughs> got a brisket sandwich, and then we uh, headed off to we headed back home. All right, how many more matches left? Five SB, yeah. I, uh, whew. like I said, it's gonna be, yeah. I'm not gonna be, I, I'm not gonna be very thrilled about bringing my showboat Becky up at all. I was kind of hoping maybe I could pull like her four star fuse from the keys or something, and then I don't have to waste resources on it per se, other than coins. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's gonna be that way. Get striker. Yeah, I'm look. Uh, I am forty shards away from getting Batista, and after Batista, it's gonna be I'm gonna focus on Macho Man and Becky, and then once I get done with those, then I'll move on to Trish and Orton and who else is in, um, who else is in Showdown. Have I done the Franklin Barbecue curbside pickup? No. Uh, every time that I've been in Austin and uh, and done uh, Franklin Barbecue, I went there at like 7 or 8 in the morning and stood in line. Or sat in line. Uh, the, the curbside pickup wasn't an option at that time, but I mean, I'd be more than happy to do that instead. And oh man, Franklin Barbecue, I haven't been there in forever, ugh. Yeah, Batista, Becky, Randy, Macho Trish. Yeah, the thing is, uh, I, I, so I was originally focusing on Macho, uh, which is the reason why I don't have Batista already. But, um, yeah, I, so... The way I look at it, uh, Batista, I mean, Batista is awesome to begin with. So, I mean, obviously, he's the one that that I need to get. Um, when it comes to Macho, um, I'm already, like I said, I, I had started on getting him. So, I mean, I'm, I'm about halfway there. And then um, Becky's used all the time. So, that's why I want to focus on Macho and Becky at the same time. And then when it comes to Trish, I have the Hall of Fame Trish. So, I mean, if, if there's a requirement, I already have a fantastic Trish to begin with. And then um, Orton is the only one that I don't have, like, a good version of. But his Icons WrestleMania isn't that great. Hey, Spider Rico. Unfortunately, you're catching, like, the end of the stream because I actually have to cut it off. 
I am going. Uh, I'm going out. So these are my last two matches, and then stream is over. Yeah, but Spider, good morning. I hope you're having a fantastic day out there on the on the West Coast. Ugh, I can't believe. I got on at 5.30 in the morning to make sure that I grinded these out because I'm going to be gone all day pretty much. Alright, last match of the stream, thank god. There we go, last match. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. There we go, done. All matches done. Woohoo! Oh no, Spider, I always appreciate you joining. And trust me, like I said, I enjoy everybody who uh, I enjoy and respect and thank everybody who takes time out of their day to, to come and watch me. Trust me, there's so many more things that people could be doing. The fact that you're spending it with me makes me feel good inside. But yeah, that is it. All bonus matches are done. And let's take a look at the rewards. Twenty-five shards of Keebler, twenty-five of APA, the thousand solo points, and I'm at twelve of sixteen. I still need to do the the limited time tours. I might do that later tonight. Uh, on stream, maybe I'll do it off stream. I don't know. It depends on how I feel, because uh, I am pretty, I am pretty zonked out right now. But uh, as always, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who joined today, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitch at IronSheik84 for more WWE Champions action. And with that. Goodbye and best of luck on uh, your grinding, day two, and all that good stuff. Bye-bye, everybody.